All right, what's up everyone? It's Royal Fan is here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be live streaming the new Polish heavy tanks that have just arrived in the game in update 8.4. This is exciting because these are some very anticipated tanks and in my opinion, they definitely live up to the kind of hype that's been built up around them for the last few years. Very solid vehicles. I'll be showcasing the tech tree starting from tier 7 to tier 10, give you an idea of just what the tanks are like, how I play them, focusing primarily in the end on the 60 TP and probably the 50 TP, which is a golden gem. I think it's going to be highly underrated. That's a really good tank, but both the tier 10 and tier 9 are superb, and even the tier 7 and tier 8 are both solid vehicles. So, how's it going, everyone? Welcome to today's stream. Uh, say hello to everyone in the chat. I hope you guys are having a great Wednesday. I know it's not a Friday. I usually stream on Fridays, but today... A little bit different because well it's an update day and i want to get you guys 60 tp content as quickly as possible so how's it going guys make sure to smash that like button as per usual and um so yeah looks like a lot of you guys are having issues uh at least some of you guys are having issues with the update not updating fully where you guys can't get the 60 tp so uh hey at least you can watch my stream while you wait though so that that's the good news levi ackerman ominous Gatlin, asus how's it going guys rocket machine uh no rocket rocket man <laughs> i don't know i said machine how's it going guys 60 tp looks very hot i agree welcome to today's stream everyone okay 60 tp interesting vehicle very similar to an i70 100 hybrid tank and it has a lot of strengths very strong almost on the verge of being broken in some respects i think so that should be interesting but as per usual with every kind of tech tree showcase we're gonna start off things nice and easy with this bizarre bizarre looking tank here i mean i don't know why this tank just looks weird don't you guys agree it's like it has a ridiculously short gun and a very rounded kind of turret. I don't know. Anyways, this is the tier 7. I've played at least one game in the whole tech tree. Yes, today I'm on my press account. That's because uh, I didn't have time to grind the tanks out before this stream. Obviously, it's day of, so I'm going to be on my press account for today's stream. Just to show you guys what these tanks are like. And um, during the stream, we're going to play a few games in the mid to low tiers. Maybe a couple in the tier 7, a few in the tier 8. And then we'll focus primarily on tier 9 and 10. So let's start this off with the 50, 45 TP. I'm not going to try to pronounce the last name. That'd just be stupid because I wouldn't be able to pronounce it. Uh, let's go quickly check the characteristics of this tank. Actually, haven't even looked at them yet. Um, let's see. Damage per minute, 2,000. Not too bad. It has 290 alpha damage. Interesting alpha damage there. 250 on APCR, 225 APCR pen, 175 AP pen, penetration's not great, uh, 8 degrees of gun depression's fine, top speed's 35, so it looks like a pretty average kind of tier 7 heavy tank, I guess. So let's jump into a game with it real quick, check it out, see just how this vehicle performs. You know what else to start? Hi, Fawn32. How's it going? Welcome to today's stream. <laughs> what else, Fawn? <laughs> what is the same issue? <laughs> I have the same issue. Oh, 50 TP prototype is much better than the Tech Tree 50 TP. Uh, we'll see about that. We'll see. I don't know. I think personally the Tech Tree 50 TP has better armor profile and a very, very good gun. HF uh, will get one buck donation per Amarak today and two for every time you get Amarak, lol. Fluffy tracks on Blitz. Thank you. Well, that's a deal, I guess. I better get Amarak a lot of times, shouldn't I? <laughs> Oh man, looks like a lot of you guys are struggling to get the game updated. That sucks. Oh well. They will it will eventually happen. But until then, I'm here. Dutch Plagueis, how's it going? CV, hi. Oh no. Please work. It's doing this again. Stop doing this. I swear. We'll be back, don't worry. Come on. Load in. Ta-da! We are back. Okay, so we're in a tier 8 matchup for starters, and oh man, this tank just looks unnatural. I can't explain why. It's it's bizarre. Um, it's dispersion is pretty bad. Just to judging off the bat right now, you can see it has very large bloom numbers. Mobility seems about average. I'm not really sure what the armor is like, but I'm assuming it's not going to be the worst. If the gun handling is kind of this meh for 290 alpha, I had a feeling, I have a feeling personally that the armor is going to be decent for what it is. Um, eight degrees of gun depression is decent, but it wasn't enough to quite give me the shot there. And here's a 53 TP. Let's try to put a hatch onto him. Not quite. Okay. The gun seems okay. It seems like it's going to be an okay take. I don't know what I really think about it just yet. I'm going to watch out for that T49. 
Hmm, maybe. We could put Snapshot towards him. 274. Alpha's okay. I mean, yeah, it's tier 7. To be fair, I'm not really a fan of tier 7 in general, so even if the tank was good, I probably wouldn't care too much. Put another shell into this dude. Yeah, it's it's average. Okay, this is probably the most average tank in the tech tree uh, so far. I don't know about the tier 6. I never, I've never played it, but... You know, it will perform. It's just not really anything special. Oh my gosh, that T20 has a lot of armor. And that gun handling is absurdly bad. Um, oh, hello. Ow. Okay, that's that's the tier 8. I thought that was a tier 7 for some reason. Stupid me, getting shot by the tier 8. Let's see if we can do anything about him. And I forgot to mention, these tanks do have tungsten shells, so we can put a shell into his... Okay, or not. Do you have adrenaline activated, though? Annihilator's pushing in. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my gosh, the lower plate's really tiny on that thing. I didn't notice how small the lower plate is on the tier 8. That is interesting. I lo look how hard it is to hit that lower plate. There we go. 325. So it seems like when I do activate the tungsten shells, which is pretty much just RNG boost uh, for your al average damage, my alpha increases to about 320 instead of 290. I don't know if that's accurate, but so far, just based on the rolls that I got, that seems about... Seems about right. Let's put a quick shot towards this dude's lower plate. 360 high roll. Oh, T28 stock. Did not realize that. Oh! We're bouncing shots. And, um, yeah. Interesting. Interesting. I honestly can't say there's there's anything super ow, special ow, about this tank. Although, the armor actually seems pretty troll. Interestingly enough. I did not expect troll armor, but there you go. We have troll armor. Um, we're almost done with this game. Tier 8 matchup. About 2,000 damage or so. So, not an awful performance, I would say, for the- Oh, nope, that was a Pepega shooting. Not an awful performance, but, uh, pretty, pretty okay. PC processor be like, zzz, zzz, zzz. Uh, I don't, I don't quite get it. Fawn. <laughs> Play with the stock turret, it's troll. Lol. It's if your screen capture is gonna be- give me a stroke. No, is it doing that again? Ay ay ay. I don't know why it does that. Try, trying to figure it out. Okay. It's not doing it now. It's only when I have movement. I wonder if I was a bit like, if I was just to adjust this a little bit. Sorry, guys. It's glitching so much. Ah! I don't mean for it to glitch. <laughs> no. I, I need to, I need to try and find a new screen capture. Um, at least HDMI to USB 3K, uh, USB -C cable because, uh, I don't want to give you guys a stroke. That would be very uncool. Okay. I'm watching in my preview from OBS, and it looks pretty solid. Therefore, you shouldn't get a stroke from this. Hi, Fanis. But my you gotta go. See ya, Killer Panda. Thanks for dropping by. Okay. Okay, we, we look fine. I think if I hold it just like this, without moving a muscle, this will be good. Okay, I got spotted, so probably someone from mid or over here in the right-hand side. We're just gonna hold for a moment. We are top tier, but they do have tanks like the Annihilator. And, uh, Annihilators are very uncool to play against. There's a tier 6. Put a quick shell into him. Nice. Thunder's down low. Annihilator sitting in the back. That's perfect. I think this means we are free to just push through here. Looking at the enemy's, enemy team's general positioning, I think pushing through to go haul down is a perfectly feasible play. I'm gonna take this right-hand ramp because I don't want to face the Annihilator frontally. I think that just would rather suck, you know, as, as, oh, wow, this tank actually has really good armor. Isn't that interesting? Look at that. I didn't know this tank had so much armor. Okay, it's only against AP rounds, though. Its armor doesn't seem to be spectacular against premium rounds, so we'll have to keep an eye out for that. I'm gonna keep angling up here. And he is putting APCR through that my upper plate, as that's the only way he could really pen me, I'm sure. Put another quick shell into him. There we go. 342. Apparently, that was a max roll, but, uh, as as I did not roll 360 something, that definitely wasn't a max roll, so I'm just gonna blame blame that on the game glitching out there. And of course, there we go. So tier seven taken out. Armor's pretty troll, I have to admit. I didn't expect it to be quite that good. Let's put a shot with this Hellcat here. And yeah, I mean, decent tier seven. I mean, that's all I can say. It's, it's, it's a solid tier seven. It's not like an incredible tier seven. The shell velocity is actually not too bad. Hmm. Okay, is it not glitching? I'm, I'm still double checking my screen to make sure I'm not giving you guys, you know, any kind of, um, seizures, as that would be very uncool to get a seizure from watching his Royal Fatness stream. Uh, right, oh, hello, 53TP. Annihilator's just fired. We're gonna kill this tier 6, and then we should hopefully be able to kill the Annihilator. The Annihilator's on reload for a little while longer. Let's try and bait a shell from this dude. Do you manage to get a kill on him? Lovely stuff. We know the Hellcat's up top. Annihilator is just kind of chilling down here, I think. Um, he can potentially clip me out, but he just unloaded his magazine, so let's put a quick shell into him there. 
Looks like the agent's sitting in the back. Um, I gotta be careful, actually. This Annihilator easily, very, very easily here, could one-clip me. So I'll have to watch out for that. Let's pull back from the Annihilator, as I have a feeling he's probably gonna go for me. We're gonna even pop the Adrenaline here. And uh, he should be able to, he should struggle to pen me here. Oh, no. And we're definitely gonna die to the Annihilator here. No! Annihilators! Yes, Zach! Seal Grubbers! Ah, okay. Well, as to be expected. Don't worry, the stream is running smoothly. Yes, if I keep my hand pushing the cable in at the precise angle, it won't have issues. Okay, so that's that's the tier 7 for you guys. I don't think there's much else to be said. It's solid. Very, very average. Um, I don't hate it, but I don't find it particularly appealing. It's an okay tank. I think where things are going to get a lot, lot more spicy is at tier 8. This is the 53 TP... I'm not going to pronounce that last part because I just don't know how. So, this tank gets a lot more mobility. Let's real quickly look into the statistics of this vehicle. About 2,000 hit points, pretty solid. Now, in terms of mobility, we get a pretty nice increase of 40 top speed with the 16 reverse and a 17 power to weight. That is really good mobility. And, of course, 8 degrees of gun depression is about average. In terms of armor... You are running, hmm, how many millimeters are you running? 220 on the turret, 140 on the frontal hull. Its armor's pretty good for what it is at tier 8. But where this tank gets really spicy is the gun. 420 alpha damage, that's about the same alpha damage you get on the tier 9 50 TP prototype. Nope, that gets 440, not 420. Take that back. Uh, still, 420 alpha damage is a very solid number for a 122 millimeter type gun. And... You combine that with the tungsten shells once again, and adrenaline, and all those other consumables, and of course, gear oil, which I forgot to say improves top speed by two kilom- uh, no. By one kilometer an hour, no. By- by four kilometers an hour. I'm looking at the wrong- I'm looking at the average speed increase. Four kilometers an hour to the forward and reverse speed. That is insane. And this tank is surprisingly mobile, uh, with a troll armor profile. And a rather derpy, but very good gun when used in correct scenarios. So, let's jump into some games with this thing, shall we? I don't even play Blizzard Word, but still watch Fantasy. Cut. gotta love these streams. Thanks, Ed Important. Appreciate it. Thanks for dropping by. Why calibrated? Uh, because penetration is important. <laughs> Have you ever wondered how the Polish come up with words? Do they, like, have a keyboard and throw it? Um, I don't know, man. It's a cool language if you know how to speak it. Unfortunately, I don't. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. It is a tier 9 matchup. The enemy team have a 50 TP, the tier 9 as well. It's a T-54E1. I think I'm going to go right and try and deal with their meds. And you can see, like, immediately, this tank is quite mobile. It feels really solid. And we're already cruising at 45 kilometers an hour, which is insane. And if you consider the base top speed is, like, 40, we're reaching an extra 5 kilometer an hour top speed simply because of the... Um, the consumables. Now you can see we did 488 damage to the T49 there. That's thanks to the Tunskin shells giving us that plus to our average damage, which really allowed us to high roll that T49 there. We should be able to pick up a nice little kill shot on him. Unfortunately, Tunskin shells weren't very useful for the kill shot, but we still were able to get a very good high roll off the bat, considering our average damage is 420, not 480. Um, I'm gonna chill and wait to see what these guys do. I don't want to poke around this corner. Obviously, the enemy team have a lot of tanks in the encounter cap, and we don't want to necessarily poke that. Um, I, if I'm hauled down from back here, we might be able to pull it off, though. T-32 is hauled down. There's the Yag-88, and I think the enemy team are likely to come from behind. So, let's see. Can we get any shots into these dudes? Not yet. How about the Yag-88? Not quite. Uh, I just missed an opportunity to shoot the Chariot here. Don't quite have the gun depression here, so... Let's wait and see. Enemy team are going to pull behind us very soon. What are they going to send behind us? Uh, that's a 53 TP. I'm going to take a huge 460 alpha damage shot here. But we do manage to shoot him in return. That's the good news. And you know what? I think what I can do, he has about a 12 second reload. I should be able to just pull through here. Almost getting shot by the ISU. But the good news is I wasn't. We're going to go for the T-54E1. That's because he's the lower HP. He's also a tier 9 auto loader. Put a quick shot to his side there. 389. Bit of a low roll. I might have to use my Tunskin shells if necessary here. We are going to take a track shot. I'm fine. Aisu is not at the moment looking at me, which is good news. So let's put a quick shot into his lower plate there. Leaving him on 7 hit points. Talk about a little bit of a low roll, but the Vickers CR is here to help me. And you can see, for a tier 8 tank, this vehicle is quite solid. Now I'm going to wait. I'm going to hold him and use my Tungsten shells till I'm about reloaded there. And we're going to hit him for 479. And that's where those Tungsten shells are just very 
convenient. It really does give you that alpha damage boost that you need to reliably kind of high roll targets. Unfortunately, I've only been able to use it for like one shot at a time. Let's see if we can put a quick... 550? No, did he pen me with premium AP? That was a good shot. It's okay, the game's already over. Feels bad, man. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to high roll that, but he must have penned me with the premium AP, which has less pen. I'm trying to figure out where he hit me. I've held shell hit marks on, but I can't see. Yeah, dude. Oh, привет, Vikusha. Привет. Did you get Amarak yet? Juicy. Not yet. Not yet. I'm still on the tier 8, though. So, I don't know if that counts. <laughs> we gotta wait till the tier 10. I haven't been Amarak in the 60 TP yet, to be fair. I only played a couple games in it, though. So, we still have an opportunity to get Amarak. Mike, how's it going? What's up, synth sus? Alpha trade, lol. Yeah, I know. Feels bad, man. I was did not think. I don't know exactly. The IC 130, how much alpha does the premium AP got? I thought it had like 500 and like 20, 530 alpha, but maybe it's maybe it's higher than that. He did, he did get a nice high roll though. Let's play another game in the tier 8. 3,000 damage, pretty easy there. Hey, Venice, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Shalom, fatness, sharky tanker. Hello. Hey, Venice, say hi to Brazil. What's up to all the Brazilians out there? Venice, how you doing? I'm doing well. And Shalom Juicy, what's up? What's up? Oh, Slipper. <laughs> I am for for the T-Rex. Can you skip forward on the video? <laughs> yes, come back in 30 minutes. Привет, тебе. Привет, привет. All right, guys. So, Tier 8, once again, let's try this out. This tank is so surprisingly fast. I, I mean, having that that increased speed where you can go up to 45 kilometers an hour with this kind of alpha damage and very decent frontal armor is nice. I mean, these tanks are interesting. And to be fair, this is just my opinion, I think without the improved gear oil, these vehicles would probably be... Oh, oh, screen's doing it again. I see it. I'm trying to figure it out. Okay, I think we fixed it. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be more conscious. I just have to, like, bend the cable slightly, which means I just need to replace the cable, and if I replace the cable, I should be good. Theoretically, right? Put a quick shot to this dude. Wow, we both low rolled. For a tank with 440, 420 alpha damage, 338, not very cool. Um, we're just gonna keep holding this corner for now. We're not gonna poke a Waffenträger. Do manage to get a bounce from him, which is nice. 53 TP is, once again, just side scraping. We do manage to get a bounce from him. Oh, no, there's an Emil one there. Let's just aim it on his lower plate here. Oh, ho, ho, no. That's very uncool. And we have to watch out for that Waffenträger. Now, I do see there is the standard B pulling in. So let's wait for him to get spotted. And when he does get spotted, we'll try and nuke him as he crosses through town here. There we go. 464. Nice little high roll there. Waffenträger seems to be pre-aiming our way again. But he's not exactly looking at me. I wonder if this would be a good time to utilize Tungsken shells. Let's see if we can spot him up. Yes, it's 473, and you can see that's with the Tunskin shells, as the notification has just shown you. So, yeah, definitely a massive improvement in your alpha damage when you are running the Tunskin shells. So, let's see. I don't think this tank could really side scrape. Can we bait a shot from this dude? Yep, 484. So, he managed to get two shots out of our Tunskin shells there, and he rolled what, 260? I don't, maybe it was 360. I don't know what his roll was there. I wasn't paying attention. But,. We have definitely been winning the trades against that uh, 53 TP there. Here's an Emil. Another shell into him, 474. And this tank's just solid. We are farming. Absolutely no problem here. I'm just going to hold the ship. Now, looking at the kind of how the armor works on this tank, as I'm learning from playing against one and playing the 53 TP, uh, your hull lower plate obviously seems to be a pretty big weakness. Although it's small, it is very weak. Even if you super angle it, it doesn't appear that it's going to bounce shots very convincingly. So just keep an eye out on that. And as for side scraping, once again, I don't think this tank's going to be very good at side scraping. Oh my gosh. I didn't think he was just going to sit out and poke that. That was stupid of me. Should have taken that shell. There's a VK168 camping in the back. Looks like the Cherry Tear is nowhere to be found. VK has just fired. We have a Tiger just pre-aiming here. So let's just wait for this VK to pull forward again. And we'll cap... I don't want to cap C, actually. Camping C would suck. We're capping A. Because if we cap A, then we're going to have double cap at 600 supremacy points. We're going to win this game super fast. I just hope our 252 can take a shot here. He has a lot of HP, after all. So he definitely could. Let's see. Oh, I had AP loaded. Put a shell into this Tiger 2's lower plate. Lovely. I'm gonna get off the cap again. Someone reset the object. I don't want to cap out here. Come on, reset him. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Oh, Waffenträger's still sitting in the back. That's problematic. I want to really push up here, but I don't want to get killed just yet. We're gonna cap out. That's the problem here. 
Okay, let's wait and see. Let's wait and see if this VK pokes forward or not. Gone 252, you can pull forward on us. You can help a homie out over here, huh, boy? Yeah, that's right. Good job. Okay. So, Waffenträger, Charioteer. Let's load up the HE for the Charioteer. 550 max roll with the HE. Pick up the kill just like that. It's exactly what we were hoping for. Waffenträger is also kind of looking our way. Now, I believe he is one of the ones that shot at me. So, let's put a quick... I thought he would still be looking at me. Stupid of me. Okay, we should still win this game, though. Even if the VK kills me here, we do win this game soon. Very soon. Go on, VK shoot. VK has just fired. 400, and there we go. We just capped out. That was a solid game. Not bad. Fan is just bad. Cherry is really good at side scraping, by the way. Is it? I don't know. I didn't try side scraping. I didn't need to. Like, that's the interesting thing about Toxic and Shells is you get the alpha trade ability, which you usually wouldn't have. Fatness <laughs> tactic is not capping. Yeah, if I capped out, we would have won that game much quicker. And we would not have got that last shot in. It's all big brain. Especially when you're winning so easily. Okay, 4,300 damage. Not bad. Let's play another game of the tier 8. Privyet J. Это я Игор. Привет, Игор. Как твой дела? У меня... У меня хорошо, спасибо. А у тебя? Let's put a quick... What's up? What's the set on the mood lighting in your room? What's the setup on the mood lighting in your room? Uh, this is just my stream lighting. It's just uh, a few Govi light bulbs with some light strips that I have around my desk and my nightstand over there or desk set up behind me. And then I use an Elgato light for face lighting. That's that's about it. And I can all control it on my phone. It's pretty cool. It just makes things a little bit more interesting than a plain gray background, which is just not very cool. Hey, Fanas, love from India. Thank you. What's up to all the people from India then? All right, guys, continue the forward um, grind. Also, smash that like button. There are almost 400 of you guys watching and only 140 likes. I want to see 200 likes in the next five minutes. You got this. Privyet. Fuego. Privyet. Okay, I'll be back in 60 TV to see you get Amrax. Thanks, Juicy. I'll see you then, then. <laughs> all right. So I probably should pay attention to what I'm doing instead of reading chat. It is my predisposition as a streamer that I get very distracted and usually get myself nuked for absolutely no reason at all. However, today we'll try and make that not the case. So we got the 50 TP here, put 426 into the side of his tank there. Excellente. And looks like the Emil is backing up to put me in a crossfire. So we'll keep an eye out on him, but we should be good here. Let's pop the adrenaline for this AMX 1390. I wonder if we can hit him with a nice HE in the side here. Boom, 600 with the HE. Oh my, that high roll with the HE. So tons and shells, man. They are so good. Because, yeah, it's just a little too good in my opinion. Just a little bit too good. Let's put a shell into this tier. Oh, 45 TP trolling me. Good on him, good on him. We're going to keep holding this corner here. And we should be fine. Looks like we're going to win this battle pretty convincingly. This Emil is going to be slightly problematic where he is. So I think what I'm going to do here is we're going to work down. We're going to ignore the Emil. Might take a shot or two here. But we're going to work down this 40, 53 TP and Emil combo over here. So put a quick shell into this dude. 424. I do have tanks behind me, such as the T28 prototype, if the enemy team gets aggressive on me. So let's just kind of hold our ground here. 53 TP has just fired, and he has just gone down. That just leaves this 45 TP here. Let's put a quick shell through the front of his turret. Through an 85. Yeah, this tank is really solid, and I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if I saw this being a very popular tier 8 vehicle. I have absolutely no complaints about this tank at all. It's just combined all around a really, really solid tank. So, okay, my screen is not glitching. I'm, I'm constantly checking. I don't want you guys to get a seizure. Let's put a quick shell into this... A mill two here, lovely stuff. We got an mill one on our left. 50, 45 TP is in the mid. Um, yeah, we should be good. We should be good. And I think, let's see. Don't want to get baited to any crossfires. That's important. Let's call it our ground for now. Let's see. They are gonna pull up from below. Now I am unspotted as of right now. I'm sure eventually they're gonna get impatient and pull forward. I just gotta be careful not to get clipped out. There we go. 406 Maxwell Crew notification. Once again, not activating the Maxwell Crew perk. I don't know. What's up with the game right now? And the crew skill indicator is not working when I shoot. But, oh well. Anyways, it looks like we got this Emil. Let's pick up a quick kill on him. 45 TV is probably going to put a shot onto me. T28 should hopefully have him. I want to go for damage at this point. So let's just go YOLO for the Emil 1. Well, the 45 TP is on a reload. And let's load up the Tungskin shells here. Put a quick shot onto his side. 484. AMX is still alive, but considering he has so many kills and has... I don't know if he's been spotted yet. I would have under the assumption that he's probably sniping at the entrance of town somewhere. And he's the one that picked up our T49, maybe our VK. So, let's see. 
Where is this AMX going to be? It's not the one I nuked at the start. It's a different AMX. Where could he be hiding? This is a big brain question. Where did my allies die? Towards the caves and towards the mid. Hmm. Chimera would have spotted him if he went that way. Maybe. Now we're on the now we're on the hunt for a Chimera. Let's see. Not a Chimera. An Amex the Mosquito. Amex 1357. He spotted me. He has to be over here. I think this is the only location. Oh. I take that back. I know exactly where he is. Put a quick blind shot towards him. Interesting. Interesting. I'm surprised he spotted me all the way from there, but now we know roughly the vicinity of his location, so let's go back towards him and try and see if we can pick up a kill on this little mosquito. The mosquito must die. Let's see. I, I don't know if this tank has spaced armor. I don't think it has spaced armor on the side, so that is noteworthy. Unlike something like an IS-5 or 252U, Tier 7 lights, even like Amex 357, easily can pen the side. So just keep an eye out on that. Um, where did the mosquito run away to? What do you think? Where did he go? Quite the troublesome little mosquito, isn't he? Hmm. I wonder. I knew he would go in towards town. I called it. Hello. There we go. Nice max roll. Oh, Vladimir Putin, I'm watching you. Thank you so much for the $25 donation, Dr. Vladimir Putin. Спасибо большое, брат. Thank you very much. And there we go. 4,300 damage. So, tier 8. Solid. I rate it a solid 8.5 out of 10 for a tier 8 heavy tank. I don't think I have really anything to complain about how this tank performs. It's very, very strong. So, now that we got an idea of the tier 8, let's progress to tier, tier 9. And, oh boy. This tank is really good. There's a lot of similarities between Russian and Polish. Gak utsubuyi. Venice, can you show Le Bobby? Le Bobby's sleeping on my bed right now, so I can't show her just yet because my camera is fixed here. Um, but we'll show her later. Um, anyways, 50 TP. Not going to pronounce the name once again because I can't read Polish very well and I don't want to ruin it. So, this tank is spicy. Now listen to these statistics. 2200 hit points, nothing special. 250 millimeters frontal turret armor, solid. 120 in the hull, not bad, but don't underrate the hull armor because it has a little trick up its sleeve. Uh, 90 on the sides, 160 side of the turret. Where it is tank, it's interesting though, is you get a really good gun. 2200 damage per minute, 460 alpha damage. Excellent, 128 millimeter, I believe, is the caliber of the cannon. We have 250 base pen, solid 303 on the APCR, not bad. 68 as well. I got a tip from... <laughs> stinky! Uh, oh no, yeah, Stinky, thanks for the $20 tip! I really appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoy watching the teams, uh, the streams, and you surely can do better than me. I am but a noob in, uh, in disguise. <laughs> Paid actors, that's what everyone says. Anyways, um, thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. Back to the 50 TP. Uh, really good gun. 8 degrees of gun depression, once again, 20 degrees of gun elevation, pretty average. 36 top speed. Now, this tank gets a really good turret, and I mean it's really good. Uh, I'm surprised by just how well armored this turret is, considering it has 8 degrees of gun depression, 460 alpha damage. Now combine 460 alpha damage with the Tunskin shells, and we're talking 500 or so average damage while you have it activated. And that means you're going to be doing 500 for two shots in a row. So it's like two shots in a row, about 1,000 damage in under 13 seconds. It's pretty cracked. And... You notice one thing, interesting thing, is how far forward the drive wheels are. That means you can take a lot of shells in this drive wheel track, and you can see it's not actually connected to the hull all the way. So therefore, you'll be pretty surprised. It's You can take so many shots in the tracks from an angle like this and not receive any damage at all. And that's kind of the trick to the armor profile in this vehicle. And also, the upper plate's pretty solid. It does have the weakness of the lower plate, as you can see, pretty big lower plate, and viewport, and of course, turret ring. But for the most part, it's a very solid heavy tank. So let's jump into it. Udachi Baratan, spasiba. Happy birthday, Fanis. Oh, that was on the third, Yaro. You're, you're, you're a couple weeks late, but thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, is it any better than the 50TP prototype? It's difficult to say. I think they're both really good. 50TP has better mobility, but I think it has worse armor. And it, it trades alpha damage for gun handling and a little bit of DPM. I think that's the main difference you're going to find. So, we are in a tier 10 lineup. Let's see what the enemies got. They got a lot of tanks here. Um, they got a Super Conk. They got a 50 TP as well. 60 TP. Let's make the kind of aggressive play here. 
I think I'm actually going to go towards the windmill. Now, they do have a Conway and a Yag. We'll have to watch out for them. You can see this tank is decently speedy. It has a very round turret, doesn't it? Very, very rounded turret. And we're just going to push straight up towards the windmill right here and try and get some early shots on. And I definitely want to demonstrate the Tunskin shells. Now, you can see good turret traverse on this tank. That is one thing I'll notice is the traverse speeds on this vehicle are quite solid indeed. So let's see if we can get any early shots on anyone crossing towards this end of the map. There's a 50 TP. Can't quite get a lower plate shot on him. Super Kong's pulling forwards. Put a quick 500 shot alpha damage shot into his side there. And you can see there is a TD up top that just tried to fire me. So we're going to keep an eye out on that. Now, I don't think they have any TDs in the back corner here, which is good for me, which means this tank, like the Super Kong, we can put APCR into the back of his tank. Now, 390 APCR alpha damage, right? But with the Tunskin shells there, I was able to hit the Super Conk for 450. That is a very high roll for a 390 alpha damage APCR round. And that's just why Tunskin shells are going to be so, so potent. So we're just going to keep holding up here. I'm pretty comfortable in the scenario we're in. As you can see, I'm trying to use this rock when possible as cover from any TDs they have on their TD hill. And it looks like there's a T54 there. We might be able to pen APCR there. Not quite able to hit that shell. And there's a 62A right there. So we know where the 62A is. Oh dear, Super Conk getting absolutely slaughtered there. And now it looks like the 60TP and 54 are yellowing in here. That's fine by me. Let's try and put a shell in towards the 60TP here. We're going to load an APCR up for his upper plate, 369. And we are at haul down. We should be able to hold here. That 60TP is now stuck in a very poor position. And we can just keep chilling here. And the 60TP knows he's in a bad spot. He's going to try and get safe, which is a smart play to make. But APCR, once again, let's see. Hmm, can't quite penetrate him. Look at that armor profile. Very solid armor profile. We're going to wait for him to pull back just enough to give me his upper plate. 390 through the upper plate. Perfectly average APCR roll. And we're just going to keep holding here. And you can see this poor 60TP uh, did the big mistake and went a little too aggressive this game. Unfortunately for him, that didn't quite work out so well. Let's see. Maybe. I don't know if the TV 4 is going to poke that again. Okay, so we know roughly where the Yag is. There's a 50 TP still here. Conway's been unspotted for a hot minute. Uh, let's see. Can we find the 50 TP? There's a 50 TP. Not quite able to snag his lower plate, and we do take a shot from the 62 way, as expected. There's the Conway, and the Yag's actually relocated over towards this side of the map. Ain't that interesting? We do have shots on the Yag here, but I don't know if I want to take them. 300 AP pen is not quite good enough to deal with the Yag. So let's just keep holding position for now. We can see the 50, 60 TPs on us. Hopefully the meds in our spawn can push this, because the moment they push this, we're in a much better scenario. Let's load up the Tunskin shells here. 519. There is that wonderful alpha damage, really making it comfortable to make that T54 one shot. And now we have, let's see, we have the Super Conk. 50 TPs pulling forward. 544. That is Tunskin Shells. So, so potent. Dealing 500, 500 alpha damage strikes. We have six seconds. We could potentially get a third shot out here. Let's put another... No, I just missed my opportunity to get my third shot with Tunskin into the Conway. Kind of rushed the shot because I didn't have much time. Could have aimed it a little longer. But now the 60 TP is dead. We know the 62A is still sniping. Conway is almost dead as well. Let's see if there's anything I can do about this Conway. There's the Conway. Let's put a quick shell into him. Pick up a nice kill shot there. And this game should be a pretty, pretty straightforward win. We've already dealt, what, 3,000? damage here that just leaves the 62 way and this 50 tp in front of us so 50 tp let's see if we can put a nice lower plate shell into him 466 he does get a nice high roll me gonna have to watch out for that 62 way so i want to put myself on a crossfire but man this is a very strong tier 9 and i'm not i can't really compare it i don't know what i like more this or the 50 tp prototype but all i can say is both of these tanks are very solid. The alpha damage on this tank is good. The gun handling is really not that bad considering what type of alpha damage it has. And let's see. Let's see if we can get a nice 575 max roll on the side of this E100. Boom, 575 damaging his Amarak. I mean, come on. This gun is so good. 4,600 damage dealt. So this could be an ace tanker. I think probably not considering that this was mostly just... Uh, chill farm and not actually aggressive gameplay. Let's see. Maybe we get one more shot in the 62A here. We could just pull out the 5k ace. Let's see. Let's see. How did the first game in the 50... The 50 TP tier 9 heavy tank go. Why press account? Because I didn't have time to to grind down the texture Yaro. Oh, ace tanker. First try. Almost 5,000 damage. Not bad. Not bad. You can see why I like this tank a lot. It has a lot, and I mean a lot of potential. We'll jump into another game. <laughs> the egg turret. Yes, it is a very weird looking turret. J. Budin Tibia. Uchit Zakoi Ruskanu. It will be ace. Yes, it was an ace. Update date. Yes, guaranteed. Uh, wait, how do you know when you're going to max roll? So there's a career indication on the bottom of your screen. Um, I'll show up. I'll, I'll point it out. 
well, uh, next time we're in a battle, that pretty much tells you, hey, you have a 35% chance of max rolling your next shell once you hit three consecutive shots. And there's a little round kind of disc at the bottom of the screen, right above the HP bar. And there's like, it's split into three segments. And once you fill up all three segments, you'll see the exclamation mark, meaning you have a potential chance of max rolling your fourth consecutive shot. That's just how the light tank uh, max roll crew skill works. So I'll show it to you. Well, I'll try and point it out next time it appears. I just have to pen one shot for it to appear. So let's see about this. It's a tier nine matchup. They have double 53, 50 TPEs, Waffenträger, uh, 53 TP, and it looks like no one went towards the kind of gun port. So that's fine by me. Let's, try, let's go for the town engagement here. Now, once again, this is kind of like my first time playing these tanks. I'm a little bit unfamiliar with the armor profile on this tank. I do want to be careful not to overextend, but as you can see, looks like the entirety of my team is here. 53 TPs pulling forward, 529. Now, if you look above my HP bar, you see the little circle with the split into three segments, three pie segments, pretty much. That is your max rule crew indicator. So we're gonna put another shell into this 53 TP, 547. And you can see now we've hit two consecutive shots, and so once we hit a third consecutive shot, and we should have time to hopefully nuke this 50 TP here, 541, and now I should have a 35% chance of max rolling my next penetrated shot. So you can see it's all lit up in orange, that out, that hurt, which means my next shot has a pretty high chance of rolling for 575. So let's see if that is indeed what happens here. 575. There you go. That's how you can keep track of your cruise perks right there once you grind it out on the kind of the light tank. So we have dealt a thousand da 2,000 damage in four shots. That is pretty crazy. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sam. I appreciate the donation. It's always appreciated. 495. We've dealt 2,700 damage with five shots. Now, I did bleed a ton of hit points here. Hopefully, my teammates can get a little bit more aggressive here and start pressuring the enemy team before we do get flanked, as is a very real, real possibility right now. Please don't push me in front of the enemy team. 460. Descent action. Oh, what are you guys doing? We're all stuck. This is really bad. Yeah, especially as I'm getting shot from behind. Very, very bad. Very, very bad indeed. Let's try and avoid getting shot here. Um, Centurion fails to pick up the kill on the T-34. I'm just going to hold my shot until that Waffenträger gets confident enough to push up on me. So let's wait for this Waffenträger to start pushing up here. Come on, kill the Amex. There we go. Waffenträgers want to push up. Nice. Someone picks up a kill on him. Let's try and avoid the T-49. And we still have 50 TP and a T49 to deal with here. That's fine. That's fine by me. Um, let's see. T49 is not in the necessarily the strongest position here. 50 TP has just fired. T49 is in the open. Let's load up a high explosive shell for the side of his... Darn, Centurion. You just had to pull forward at that very moment. I know you couldn't help it. You had almost no way of knowing I was going to shoot there. But that is a little annoying. I'm not going to lie. Anyways, T49 should go down pretty quickly here with the Centurion yellowing him like that. And that just leaves a T-44. I don't know where the T-44 is. Is he AFK? Potentially he's AFK. That was a close game. That was a close game, but the tank performed quite well. It was my fault I got shot there. I was being a little too aggressive, making a lot of pokes, especially as I wanted to demonstrate the max roll crew perks there. But um, let's see. Hopefully he's AFK. If he's AFK, then that's some free damage. Ooh, he's not AFK, but he's almost AFK. <laughs> he's just sitting in B. Dang it, he's going to get wrecked by the action X, and there's nothing I can do to farm him out before he's dead. But we can activate our tungsten shells for one last glorious attempt of tungsten gloriousness. No! Why did he pull back? I don't understand. Why would he sit on B all game? I'm Sag. I wanted the farm. <laughs> Bad health. Yes. <sighs> Little orange glowy thingy. Indeed. It's 3,000 damage with what? Seven shots. Now you can see my alpha. 1,000 damage with two shots. 541, 575, 495, 465. I mean, this tank, it high rolls a lot. It's very nice. Let's play another game in it. On minya, bunny mayet da. Jo jao, on paruski ni bunny mayet. Da niet. It's not available for anyone. Apple has rolled out the update. Yikes! Should I? <laughs> Should I free XP the tier eight? Um, up to you. Tier seven is workable. It's not like an awful grind and you need to make the decision. Do you want to upgrade modules or skip to the next tank? Personally, I always prefer to save free XP for module upgrades and then uh, just grind the tanks out themselves. Cause usually the tanks are not too bad to grind once they're up to upgraded to their max modules. That's what I personally prefer to do. Here we got a 252 U. Let's put a nice 545 damage shell into his lower plate there. Just demonstrating this beautiful gun. Okay, I have a lot of allies behind me. I think I can make the aggressive play here. I have 15 seconds to pull forward and get another shell in before my Tunskin shells expire. I think I should have time to pull that off. So let's see. 
1815, we should be able to pen him right through his upper superstructure. 523 there. You can see Tuscan Shells, man. That alpha damage is so potent, especially on the tier 9. Rolling 500 consistently for every shot is no laughing matter. Let's put a nice AP Sarge onto this dude's upper plate. Do you take I'm surprised the 252 is allowed to poke like that, but then again, I can see our 252 jump down and my whole team's on A. That's fine. That's no biggie. So if this 60 TP gets a little bit aggressive, we'll just punish him. We have our Maxwell crew, per crew perk activated here. Let's put a track shell into this object 252U. There we go. Bringing down his HP just a bit. We're going to hug left here. That way, if they do try and pressure me, I will. they will have difficulty getting shells into me. Let's see if we can put another shell towards this 252U at all. Let's see. Not quite able to get a shell into him. And this AMX is just kind of hardcore tunneling here, which is fine by me. I believe we should be able to pen him very easily if necessary. Right through the hatch there. 500, 466. Do manage to get tracked there. And there we go. These are those drive wheels I'm talking about. You can really bait the drive wheels on this vehicle. So keep an eye out for that. Now, I do have an issue with a, a tank coming in from behind me. I'm going to put a quill shot into this 252U. And come on, dude. When this tank is hauling down, it is an absolute beast. I mean, we're just ripping apart these poor tanks here with absolutely nothing they can do about it. Let's put a quick shot onto the back of this 50 TP there. We've already dealt 3,000 damage here, and now we have a Centurion turning back for us, kind of. So let's just keep an eye out for that Centurion, but we should win this game pretty quickly here. And let's see, 50 TP kind of escaped. Centurion's looking towards me. I don't quite have shots here, maybe. No, what a waste of my potential max roll there. That was a bad shot by me. Oopsie. Let's see. Let's see. Come here, boy. I don't think you're going anywhere, my guy. Let's see if we can jump on this dude. Whee! Nice. And let's activate our Tunskin and HE the back of the action. Oh my god, 649 damage dealt with the Tunskin HE there to the back of that Centurion. And that is the beauty of Tunskin, my friends. So glorious. This tank is good. This tank is real good. Mmm. Don't, don't underestimate this tier 9. Not bad. 4.5k damage uh, for second class. So you can see, even at 4,500 damage second class, people are performing well in this tank, and it's the day of the update. So it's pretty cracked. You need to hit three shots in a row. Yep, indeed. You need to penetrate three shots in a row with physical damage. We have a monster, indeed. Centurion is the one who blocked you last round. Oh, he is. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> Uh, feels bad, man. All right, let's jump into another game. Top tier matchup. Yes, the, the new tank matchmaking is being glorious right now. It's giving me a bunch of tier 9 matchups, which is to my advantage. It's pronounced ton Tungstein. Not Tungstein. Ah, it's okay. Tungstein. <laughs> See, I told you, I don't have very good pronunciation of Polish words. Tungstein. Oh, okay. Let me check that out. Tung. Steen. Tungsteen. Okay, there we go. Tungsteen. <laughs> like tongue. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. See, I can always trust you guys to correct me there. All right. We got a KV4 here. Unable to hit his lower plate, sadly. We are spotted. Um, let's see. We have no one covering our flank here. Let's see about this. I'm not going to push it all the way just yet. False Creek is a good map for me. Just have to take it easy. Hmm. This Lova is looking at me. He knows I'm here. Just angled up my tracks there. I knew he'd probably take the shell there. There's the Waffenträger. And there's the 53 TP, 50 TP over here on the left-hand side. Let's aim in for his lower plate. And not quite able to hit that one. Okay, well, that's fine. Let me consider my options here. SC-130 has gone low. We know that there's probably... I don't know what this dude's doing. There's a Defender Mark 1 on the flank. I can deal with that. Honestly, think the play here probably is to take the ditch here, if at all possible. Hmm. There's a, there's a Lova right there. Let's put an APCR through the front of his turret. 360. Nice. Let's try and pull back from this 50 TP. Unfortunately, taking a shell there. But, SU got nuked. That's th that's what's important. Oh, hi, Bobby. Please do not get in the way of this stream. Thank you very much. Hopefully, the SU doesn't turn back for me. I want to kind of hold this ditch and see what I can do to these poor dudes. Yeah, SU's no way is he paying attention to me. Let's put a quick shell into this dude. There we go. We're just going to hold the ditch here. I do have a decent amount of cover fire if the enemy team gets aggressive on me, which looks like they're considering that option. But is he running a stock turret on the 50 TP? So that's what the stock turret looks like. How interesting. Hmm. Oh my gosh. There's a KV-4 down here. What on earth are you doing down there, buddy? What is there a KV-4 doing down there? And now we have a Waffenträger on us. So I think probably the play for me... Deal with these TDs. Doesn't look like their other guys are too focused on me at the moment. So let's, let's real quickly put a shell to the side of this KV-4. 523. There we go. We're going to keep holding this fight off. Waffenträger is about to go down. 
KB4 is not doing so well either. And if the Waffenträger comes for me, we should be able to just be able to bop him through the lower plate. There we go. Nice. SU, please don't come for me as well. You know, I'll be very annoyed if you try shooting at me. Hit my engine deck. Uh, I'm gonna have to waste another kill shot on another low HP target. Darn it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we can pull back from this. They are to come for me. Lova might get another shell into me here. That's fine. Boom. Let's pick its tracks off. Perfect. <laughs> 444 damage. Not too shabby. Lova has 310 alpha damage, so let's try and bait a shell if possible into our tracks here. Not quite able to bait it, but he should go down. We should pick up the kill there. Huh. Isn't that interesting? That's very, very interesting, isn't it? Let's try and bait up our tracks here. Come on, hit, hit the tracks, hit the tracks, hit the tracks. Come on, someone shoot him. Uh? I'm a little confused, actually. <laughs> I am mad confused. Wait, wait, wait. Why did I last shot? I could have sworn I aimed it fully in his lower plate. Let's see. Let's wait. Let's wait this out. Let's see how this shot went. Okay. Interesting. Okay, my gun dipped down. So I think what happened there is I hit the ditch slightly and it dipped down just enough to make the shot go outside of my reticle there. That does happen if there's a, a rapid movement with your gun. Your reticle doesn't always track onto where it's going. Unfortunate, but we still did okay that game. I guess. Not too bad. We'll play one more game in the 50 TP, and then we'll get, move into tier 10, because I see Juicy has returned. Hello, Juicy Tender Steaks. How's it going? Did everyone see Juicy's new car? I know. Pretty poggers. No update for Europe yet? I don't know. I was on the European server earlier. This is a Twister twi player, by the way. Indeed. <laughs> Since 2018. God, I'm old. <laughs> Shells do not fall to the ground, lol. Yeah, but I know what happened there. I'm not going to blame it on, like, server lag necessarily. It was a little bit laggy, but what happened is as I fired, I pulled back slightly, and that just caused my gun to dip down there. That was the only issue. Oh, I just use that American, just American pronunciation. Well, there you go. Why did they, why did they have it in English? Thank you so much for the uh, the tip. Your English teacher. This is perfect. Your English teacher. <laughs> Telling me how to pronounce stuff. It's great. <laughs> waiting for the 2600 HP armor racks like the 60 TP. Yes, that's that's what I'm waiting for too. Oh, gun. Okay, so as for the 50 TP, slightly troll gun handling, but I'm not complaining. Honestly, I have no problem with the gun handling on this tank. It, it kind of makes sense given how good every other characteristic is about this vehicle. All right, let's activate our shells here, 504, very easily. And we're going to pull back from the 50 TP, who's probably going to try and shoot at me. So I'll pull back from him. There we go, as expected. He was going for me there. Uh, and that should leave me free to just pull forward here. Let's see if we can get another shell in towards this ho here. 530. And we're just going to pressure forward here. As you can see, it looks like the enemy team's heavy tanks are mostly stuck in the middle there. Now there's a Waffenträger here. I'm not too worried about him. I think he's pulling out from here. So we're going to clear out the corner and the Waffenträger. In fact, I'm just going to go straight for the Waffenträger as he is kind of stuck here in the open. So let's go for him. Let's see if we can bait our drive wheel at all. Oh my gosh, pending my turret like the Chad gamer he is. Let's put an HE into his engine deck area. Nice hat shot. Hit that on the move too. Absolutely cracked player. Defender Mark 1. Just sending it. He's about to double tap this Waffenträger, so he's not going to be feeling too good soon. I'm going to let the defender take a shell here for me. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. They all hit those. Wait, did they pen my turret? There's no way. that T-28 should have been covering my hull there. I'm actually confused. They must have all penned me in the turret there. God-tier gamers with their shooting, but we should win that game. Okay. So, fun, fun, tier 9 action. I think it's time we jump into the juicy tank here, the one that most people are interested in, the 60TP. Not gonna pronounce its name. <laughs> so, smash that like button for the 60TP. Here's where things get really spicy. Let's briefly go over the statistics of this vehicle. 2,750 hit points in its current configuration, not running armor. So almost 2,800 hit points, that's a lot. So much as the old IS-4, pretty much. 280 millimeters of frontal turret armor, 120 in the hull, heavily angled, it's quite troll, you're gonna get a lot of bounces off the hull armor. Um, 160 on the sides of the turret, 100 on the sides of the hull. Drive wheels are weak, lower plate is weak but very minuscule. As for the gun, we're talking 2,379 DPM, 15 second reload, that is of course with calibrated shells, 271 base pen, 368 with the heat, 88 with the HE. 
600 alpha with the AP rounds, 530 with the heat, and 680 with the HE rounds. HE is pathetic, but everything else is pretty solid in terms of alpha damage. 4.8 second aim time, 0.385 dispersion. Not the best gun handling, but once again, you don't expect a tank with this amount of armor and alpha damage to have incredible gun handling. 7 degrees of gun depression. It's a little bit less than the tier 9, but it's still workable. Uh, not that bad. 36 kilometers an hour top speed. That is the base top speed, not including the gear oil. 15 reverse speed. The average speed is of 28, 15 power to weight. So overall statistics seem pretty balanced on the tank, but then you have to factor in the fact that you have stuff like the, the uh, uh, improved gear oil, which is now going to improve my top speed from 36 to 40 forward top speed. It's going to increase my reverse speed from what, 16 to 21. So the mobility on this tank is a lot better than it appears on paper if you're running improved gear oil, combine that with improved fuel. And of course, as for consumables, you also have the option of running the tungsten shells, which is going to increase your alpha damage to about close to 700-ish. Close to 700, not quite 700, I believe, but close to 700 per shot. And if you're running, let's see, high-end consumables, adrenaline, let's pop on the rammer actually for 2,500 DPM. You can get three shots off with this configuration. So let's jump into some games with the 60 TP and just show you just what this tank is about. I could be here, I could be your Polish teacher. Defender. How lovely is that? Teach me how to pronounce the 60 TP's full name. And I'm talking about the, the one that starts with an L. <laughs> oh my. Five. Five 60 TP's on the enemy team. Goodness. I have not seen so many 60 TPs. I have not seen so many of the same type of tank on a team in years. Oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be awful. This is a very unrealistic demonstration. I hope tier 10 is not gonna be like this anymore. It's five 60 TPs. My team has four 60 TPs. That is just insane. What is this? Oh goodness, I'm scared. This is gonna suck. Everywhere you go, there's a, there's a high risk of just getting absolutely nuked to oblivion. Oh, and of course he hits that on the move because the 60 TP really has that good of a gun handling. Yeah, this is what I'm worried about. We're all gonna have, have this kind of the same mobility here. As you can see, gun handling is not spectacular on this tank as to be expected, but uh, unless you're shooting on the move like this dude and somehow gets giga chad RNG, but we're gonna keep holding this corner here. The 60 TP can't really do much to me. Yeah, he's just going to waste his time there, isn't he? And so is this 60 TP. So we have triple 60 TPs here. This is so bad. This is going to suck. It's just going to be a bunch of haul down 60 TPs versus each other. This is not going to be at all reflective of what tier 10 is going to be like normally. This is just what it's like during the update. And that's why it's sucky. Can't even hit this dude's hatch. There's no point in me waiting here. It's a complete waste of time. Um... I need to think of something. Old Yeller. It's okay, don't worry. You don't have to be my meat shield, dude. Just work your thing. We have a lot of tanks in the corner. It looks like our 62 weight already got nuked for most of his hit points. That's unfortunate. Uh, 60 TP down low. There's the Vickers over here on the left. Let's see if this Vickers tries pulling out. Nice. Just enough to maybe give me a shot. Man, this gun is not reliable. Okay. Let's see. Jagdpanzer's in the mid here. Is he going to pull forward? Or is... Uh, this is just... This is just straight up awful. There's no other way of explaining this. It's just straight up awful. 60 TP upon 60 TP upon 60 TP here. 718 with the tungsten shells. There we go. We're going to activate our adrenaline here. Managed to get a nice little snapshot into that dude. Um, but still, this scenario does not look very good. Yag is pulled back. This dude does not have tungsten shells activated, so let's put a shell into his drive wheel. 724. So as you can see, the alpha damage is about 700 with the tungsten shells. I know I'm kind of mispronouncing it, but right now I'm not, I'm not focusing on that. I'm just focusing on the fight as... With this many 60 TPs, it's not a very good scenario to be stuck in, huh? So, let's see. Can we maybe AP the roof of his tank? Not quite. Let's wait for this dude to pull back just enough to maybe give me a side shot. There we go. 618 to the side there. And we do have to watch out. One thing I've noticed about the 60 TP is it has a very, very, and I mean very weak ammo rack. So be aware of that. You are going to get ammo racked quite often in this tank if you're not careful with your positioning. So just don't forget about the ammo rack on this tank because you'll find out quite often. Uh oh, you just lost your ammo rack, unfortunately. Let's put a 750 max roll to the back of this 60 TP here. Hopefully the Chieftain can finish him off. We are recovering from this 
from this match. It was looking really bad for a moment there, but it looks like we might be able to pull this back. Now, I'm going to see if there's anything I can do about this Vickers here. Although, the 62A should have the kill on him. Let's see if we can just do anything to take him out while we're at it. So, let's put a quick kill shot to the Vickers there. I think we're going to... I think we're going to win this game. Lovely stuff. I think we should be able to win this game pretty easily. Old Yeller, please don't die. I don't want my old Yeller to die here. Alright, let's see. 60 TB below us. Let's put a quick shot to this dude's lower plate. 579. Bit of a low roll, but... I mean, this tank performs well. You just have to be careful. Nice, he survived the kill shot. What a big brain. Unfortunately, hmm, we have a lot of tanks here. The issue is, oh my god. I just got nuked for all my hit points. And there's where you gotta watch out for those double taps, triple taps and stuff. Hopefully, I'm gonna probably die to the 60 TP. I think he's gonna get enough gun depression. Nope, or we can pull up top. We're, we're safe, we're safe. We got another 60 TP with us here. Nice. Oh, the HE didn't quite pick up the kill there. Let's see if we can pick up an HE kill on this dude at all. Come on, buddy. Time's over. Nice. Interesting tank. This game wasn't too bad, to be honest. I was a little nervous with 550 t 60 TPs on the enemy side. But it seems like we were able to kind of clutch up here just fine. All right. Here's the Yag. The Yag. Let's see if we can put a nice little kill shot into this dude real quick. I missed because I'm a bot, unfortunately. It looks like the 60 TP will pick up a kill on him. Nice. I wonder, what are my chances of hitting this Yag? I think he has me on reload here, so I gotta be careful. We baited him. I just heard him shoot. Perfect for me. Uh, come on. Please don't block me. Okay. So, let's wait for him to give me a little bit. Ah, oh, of course he stole my kill. I don't know why the Yag pulled back there. He should have stayed in the corner. He would have had perfect cover fire there. Anyways, GG to the 60 TP for pulling the big brain flank. We should be able to pick up a nice kill here. Not bad. What an interesting and sweaty game to start seven th start things off with. That was a lot of 60 TPs, man. How's 3.8k and ace? Well, got a lot of XP. GG to this dude. I wonder if he aced as well. Yeah, he did ace as well. This thing is an easy ace bar considering how good it is. Uh, that was not very fun. Let me make sure I have synchro control mode. I have it off. But there's so many 60 TPs in tier 10. This is scary. Almost 300 likes, guys. Smash that like button. I believe in you. Question. You have a lot of, uh... Cancers in battle here? Oh. <laughs> People with... Oh, I see. Uh, I guess. Not much more than other servers, really. Speaking of which, I need to, uh... I need to make sure chat is being clean. <laughs> People with 40% are not wrong with you. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't, I don't think that's quite what you want to call them. Of course, it could have a different interpretation in different languages, I assume. As for 40%ers, I don't think NA has more 40%ers than other servers. Okay, let's see what we got here. No tank destroyers. We got five heavy tanks, two med lights. It's Castilla. I'm going to just push my way straight up towards the kind of lighthouse here. Or, sorry, windmill on Castilla and hopefully work the corner quite well. Now... 60 TP has a really weird lower plate. This middle section is pennable, but the very lower part is red and the very upper part is red. So you'd be surprised how many shots just kind of mess up panning this tank's armor profile. It can be super annoying if you're on the enemy team and you're trying to pen a 60 TP. And oh, hello 50 B. Let's put a quick shell into him. 604. I didn't activate my shells there, mostly because I didn't have time to really just sit there and aim it in, in my opinion. We have a 60 TP up here in the upper corner, though. That's perfect for me. Let's activate our shells here. Put a quick shell through his side. 692. Don't buy i7. Meme is dead. Long live. The, <laughs> don't buy 60 TP. Yes, the 60 TP with the inferior ammo rack to that of the i7. In terms of... What are you doing, 50 TP? You're blocking all of my shots. Dude. Oh my gosh. I don't understand some players, man. What is your goal? You know what? I don't even care too much. I'm just sending it. I just wasted my tongues themselves there because you had to hog the corner. I don't know why he was hogging the corner like so, but obviously with no tank destroyers, there are two meds out of the fight. The best play we can make here is just kind of pressure the enemy team up here. So let's put a quick shot to this 50B. And we are in a pretty solid position here. Looks like I still have cover fire for my allies. And I'm going to be the one that's just going to be pressuring the enemy team from down low. Hopefully really getting their attention. Kind of scaring them off just a little bit here. 50 TP is up above me. Let's put another shell towards this 50B here. Oh, there's that 50B's troll armor profile. If this dude tries to pull forward and shoot at me. Wow, he actually has the gun depression there. I didn't think he would, but there you go. We do have a 50 TP here with me. And so we should have a mega reload on this dude. 
put a quick track shot into him. The reason I went for the track shot there is so he wouldn't be able to pull forward in time to shoot my up lower plate. You can see, there we go. That's why you want to aim for track shots when possible. Just little shots like that could be the difference between taking a shot and not taking a shot. Let's put a kill shot in towards this 50B in just a moment. Perfect. 60 TP is still stuck here. It looks like we're going to win this game pretty convincingly. I'm already at 2.9k damage. 30 seconds before my shells are back. I can just keep working down this 60 TP probably. He's probably going to get a shot to my upper plate here, but I'm not too concerned about that. Let's put a shell to his side. That's where the Amorak is located, so be cautious of that. I'm just going to try and angle up our lower plate here. Please don't Amorak me. Thank you. I'm going to activate our adrenaline here. His Amorak seems to be damaged, which means there's a significant chance that if I max roll this next shot, we could Amorak him. Oh, we didn't Amorak him. I'm actually surprised about that. I thought for sure shooting him through the upper plate like that would definitely Amorak him with its damaged and with a Maxwell crew perk here. I'll take a shot from this dude just to make sure he can pick up the kill there. Lovely. And we have the WZ120 behind us. Not bad. I mean, yeah, this tank is just solid, man. It performs well. It performs really, really well. And I think maybe a little bit too well. I don't know. <laughs> Meanwhile, of course, if you are too uh, if you're too complimentary of a, of a tank's performance, uh, be careful because it seems like every time you compliment how well a tank performs, you get uh, the big RNG nope. Anyways, we should be able to double tap this dude with our shells here. Let's just wait for him to pull forward on us again. Okay, we're, oh, activate him a little early. It's okay. I have enough time for to aim this one in. 700 plus a fire. We're going to make sure he pulls around my side. That's good. And, oh, he dies to our other 60 TP. Not bad. Just about 5,000 damage that game. Not too bad. So the Amorak on the 60 TP is kind of all over the place. Um, it's in the back of the turret. It's right at the turret where the turret ring connects on the side. And it's in these upper cheek plates here as well. It's it's quite weak. <laughs> so be cautious of the Amorak. It performs well if you have to hit the tank at 50 meters. Exactly, Shock. That's why in that battle, I decided not to sit at the mill because I saw, wait, I can just push below them. And then when you're shooting at them from like this far away, the gun does work pretty well. But as we have experienced, 60 TP when it comes to snapshotting any kind of distance engagement, uh, any kind of tanks at distance, is not going to work very well. So just watch out for that. Just be careful for that. Justice for <laughs> Dr. Trax donation. <gasps> Dr. Trex donation. Opinion on new call down line, especially post med buff. Thank you, by the way, for reminding me. Um, opinion. I don't know. I think. I think the 60 TP. I think the Polish heavy tanks in general are just a little too strong. And that's because these tanks have an incredibly thick amount of armor with good mobility. When you consider high alpha damage heavy tanks with a lot of armor, you think of tanks like an E100, which is good, but it can't really haul down, which makes up for the gun and has awful mobility. The 60 TP has mobility between that of like an IS-7 and an IS-4, except it gets an armor profile more like an IS-7 with the gun of like a, a an IS-7 and an E100 combined. It's, it's just a little bit too strong. In my opinion, it's the mobility that really makes this tank click. The fact that you're able to get to places so fast and pull out from places so quickly it does make it a little bit, in my opinion, just, just a little bit OP. I don't know about you. That's my opinion. Anyways, oh, hello there. Let's put a quick shot to you. I did not expect him to be there. I do have support from the 140. So if that E50M or E50 gets a little bit courageous on that corner here, he's not going to survive. Well, this AMX is also getting a little courageous, isn't he? Put a nice shell into his side, 685. He should go down pretty quickly here. He is going to pen my upper plate. And like like I said, that's the issue with this tank. Um, is if tanks are shooting down on you, because it only has 120 millimeters of upper plate armor. So really, all of that armor... And as you can see, we're able to get three shots there for 2,100 damage with the shells activated. All of the armor is in the angling. So the moment you're in an engagement where someone is looking kind of down on your armor profile, you have to be very careful in the 60 TP because that's when you're going to get um, Pepega buttered through with the ammunition. Let's put an HE shell max roll maybe. 850, taking over half the hit points out of that Centurion uh, 7 Mark 1. Very satisfying indeed. Of course, if I was at E100, that would have been 1200 damage, not 800. But I'm not complaining. 800 damage, still 800 damage, right? There's a 60 TP here. Let's aim for his Amarak maybe. Not quite. We're going to take a shell here, I think. That was a very bad trade. I thought the Centurion was just going to make a break for it, not just sit up there and shoot at me. That's fine. 140 could just go around and kill the other dudes. I'm going to kind of preempt this crossing here. It looks like there's a... Our mouse is getting pushed on by an E100 here. Let's see. Put a quick shell towards him. Nice little high roll. Hitting his Amarak as well. Or or not, apparently. Nope, we did hit his Amarak. Down 4,000 damage. It's just me here. 
Just me. E75 as well. But I am a potential one shot to the 60 TP here. So we're going to have to be very careful about what we do with this next play. Can't quite shoot down on this dude. And if I shoot at him, the Centurion's going to get aggressive on me. There we go. We could put a nice shot to the side of his turret here. Going to activate my adrenaline here. E75 is almost dead. I can't back up anymore. So there we go. E75 pick up a clutch kill shot there. This is just what I needed. We're going to pull to the side of this 60 TP here. Please don't high roll me. 750 max roll. Going to pull back into cover. That's where that 20 kilometer an hour reverse speed is really, really clutch. So this game is pretty close, I will admit. 60 TP is dropping down. T30 is in the mid. They have a bunch of tanks up top. I can't push on them. I can't push on the 60 TP just yet. I gotta be really careful of what that E100 is doing. So there's the E100 there. Perfect. Let's see if we can aim an AP shell. I don't know if this is gonna pen or not, but we gotta hope it does. It does pen. Still an I7 in this game. T30, please pen this shot. We need you to pen this next shell here. That is rather unfortunate, isn't it? All right. Tungsten shells. I think we have the DPM on this dude. Pray to the tungsten shells that they work. They do hit, but they low roll just a little bit. However, T30, come on. Come on, T30. You got this, buddy. Don't die on me. Don't die on me. I gotta wait till... Ah, uh, T30, you're gonna die on me, aren't you? Okay. This dude's obviously just waiting for me to poke him. I wonder if there's anything I can do here. I think this game's pretty much lost. Unless this T30 can pick up a kill on this... This dude. Come on, go for the kill shot. You got this, buddy. Unlucky. Alright, let's put a quick shot onto the side of this IS-7 here. I wasted too much time. I don't think there's much I can do now. Yeah, there's not really much I can do. We can back up beyond cover all we want, but this game's essentially lost to nothing but ca if nothing else but caps. So let's just try and get some last minute damage in, shall we? No, no, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I no, I should have should have penned that shot. Should have penned that shot. Darn it! Ugh! I would have had almost 8,000 damage there. Um, team wasn't too intelligent. If that T30 had just killed the 60 TP when he did at time, we would have been fine. But hey, 7,000 damage. I'm not going to complain. I would have had about 7,500 if I'd hit that last shot on the IS-7. Could have had 8,000 damage that game, to be honest. I shouldn't have wasted so much time on the 60 TP when he was a one-shot. I should have just left him and gone for the IS-7 right away. That would have given me more damage, maybe a win. But hey, tank performed fine, you know? There wasn't anything wrong with the tank there. Took a few unfortunate shots. Really, what threw that game for me is when I made that poke on the 60 TP. And I took the shot from the scent and the 60 TP there. If I hadn't taken those two shots, I would have had the HP to easily win that game. And it just goes to show those little trades that you make in the end. Even though I played a pretty good game for the most part, it was that one trade that caused me to lose that battle. Uh, that was so unfortunate, man. That game could have been a lot of damage if I had just played it a little bit better. What, what is, what's going on in chat? Yellow for damage? I should have yellow for damage, shock. Why not get a notification for stream YouTube? Well, you can always join my Discord server, and there's a bot on my Discord server that whenever I post a stream link or a video link or something on my channel, it will send a notification out saying I have posted something new, which is quite convenient if you want to see new stuff. Oh, Are you kidding? Oh my gosh, the 50B is yellowing up top here. Are you kidding me? What is this? What is this? What are these guys doing? What are these intellectual gamers doing here? All right, we got a 45, 4,005 above us. Looks like there's a 60 TP below us here. That's fine by me. We could probably get a shell into the rear of his turret. There we go, 688, that's what I wanted. Um, I'm gonna have to be careful about backing up into the middle here. We actually need to kill the 60 TP in 4005, especially while the 60 TP is really overextended here. So let's start working down the 60 TP here. No! Come on, team. You need to YOLO this. Our team really needs to push this 60 TP. Because we're about to get pressured from behind. There's a bulldog on me as well now. Come here, dog. <laughs> uh, team? Can you guys go? Or do ab anything? Anything at all? Okay, here's what we're going to do. I can see the 50 Bs behind us. So, let's put another shell into this pattern here. 4005 is not paying attention to me as of right now. That's fine. We're going to pull forward here. Okay, 45 is getting nuked. My rear is still protected to some degree. 50B could be coming for me here. Pans could be coming in. Uh, let's take his tracks off to keep him in place. And 50B is now on me. So yeah, this is where my game goes. Goodbye. I don't know what on earth. <laughs> We're crying out loud. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? You can't kill 160 TP that had no support. I didn't play that amazing, but what was I supposed to do? I couldn't push mid because they had four tanks there. 
And no one wanted to kill the single isolated 60 TP. We had like four tanks here as well. That's unfortunate. Oh well. I guess I'll reach out while I wait for the next game. Oh, you know what? While we wait, because this game's going to take a minute, let's try the 50 TP prototype real quick. I forgot to make that comparison in tier 9. We will get back to the 60 TP. Let's try a game real quick in the 50 TP prototype, because now it has the shells and the gear oil, which when I last streamed it, obviously it didn't. So let's see how that goes. Is the line worth it? 100%, man. 100%. I'll just say we're going for another offer pop-up on the Switch. <laughs> Let's real quickly run a game in the 50 TP prototype while we wait for that team to get themselves killed. And then we'll go back into the tier 10. But I did want to make that comparison. I wanted to see just how the 50 TP prototype performs now. Especially now that it has the improved gear oil, which is going to make it go really, really fast. Be a lot of sad the way fatness happens sometimes. Yeah, sometimes it does happen. Like I said, my positioning wasn't great, but I thought, considering how many tanks we had in that corner, we would have been fine. Plus, it was very unusual. The enemy team pushed, like, four tanks through the mid of encounter cap there. That usually doesn't happen. Um, and unfortunately, my team didn't didn't push when they had the opportunity to. I'm not going to go towards the park. Going park from this spot is almost always very bad. Anyways, so here is the 50 TP prototype. This is obviously the premium tier 9, which was a vent tank not long ago. Uh, as you can see, quite fast, we were easily going over 40, well, down the slope, 50 kilometers an hour. That is incredibly fast for a tier 9 heavy tank with a decent amount of armor as well. Here we go, we got a, we got a 60 TP here, we got this T-54E1, let's pop, let's activate the, the shells there. Ugh, I hate auto-aim. Sometimes I just hate how auto-aim doesn't understand the simple concept of you should aim where the gun is pointing. Like, it tries and tracks on the 60 TP, even though my reticle is on the T-54. Like, how does that make sense? Oh, Leopard, you're gonna push up here? So Leopard's gonna make a poke on the mid any moment now. There we go, let's put a quick shot to him. 444. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to utilize my tungsten shells there, but... Um... I don't know what this Leopard's doing. Hmm. Let's see, we should be fine here. So, Tier 9, feels good. Its gun handling is still quite solid. It still has good mobility. I don't think there's really... It hasn't changed too much, other than the fact that your alpha damage will go to about 470 or so when you're utilizing your shells properly. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to utilize my shells there. 480 damage here. Yeah. 50 TP. Feels good. I mean, 40... Yeah, 50 TP prototype. I still really enjoy this tank a lot. I'll put another shot to this VK90 here. I try to help my team in town. There we go. 430 into him as well. Leopard is still up here. Looks like we have an STB holding him off for now. That's what's important. 60 TP, enemy 60 TP stuck in the mid. Let's put a quick shot into this dude as well. 450, very nice. Five worst tanks in the game. Rootland, thanks for the donation. Um, five worst tanks in the game. Ah, that's a difficult one. I don't really know. I would say for... It really depends on your opinions, right? Everything's opinionated. So what you consider to be the five worst tanks, someone might consider to be the five best tanks. So that's why those lists are difficult. As for tanks I don't like, uh, I don't know. Let's go by my five least favorite tier tens. Probably, uh, I can't, uh, I can't make this decision. For me, T95 isn't great. It's too slow. Don't like slow tanks. So T95 makes the list for me. Let's put a quick shot to this 50 TP. 472. Love that. Love the shells there. Um, hmm. T95 for me. Let's think what else I do not really like. Uh, IS-4 is not a worst. It's a really good tank, but I just don't like it. Simple as that. I just don't like it. <laughs> um, what else? What else is there? I'm sure there's some mediums. I'm not a huge fan of the Progetto for a tier 10 medium tank. Mostly because the gun handling, so poo poo. But uh, it's not a bad tank. Uh, I don't know. This is a hard list. It's hard for me to figure out tanks I dislike. Because I like most vehicles I play. Oh boy, we are having a big game here, and my team is having a big throw, throw party. They really want to throw this game. So, let's see. We could be able to pull 5,000 damage out this battle pretty easily here. There's an E100. Not quite able to snap that shell off. 183 getting absolutely hammered there. Enemy team have a double cap advantage. I am perma spotted by the 60 TP here, so this is going to be slightly complicated because of that. However, if I use this T54's proper haul down cover, I should be able to shoot over his carcass at the 100 if necessary. Pick up a nice kill on him. Leopard, 60 TP is still stuck down there as well. That's perfect for me. I wonder if I can use this Waffenträger. Let's hold on cover against the 60 TP. Let's see. Hmm, can't quite spot him up from here. We do have potential shots on him, I just can't spot him. That's my main problem here. Let's see. Enemy team has double cap. We're gonna have to consider the cap deficit here. What's my only ally? Who's my only ally? What's his hit points? Is it the STB? 
Shkoda has no hit points left. I'm gonna go for C. As it's gonna be close to a cap game. I have a lot of hit points here, but I have to be careful because the 60 TP with two shots could do 13, 1400 damage to me. So we do want to watch out for that. And let me think about this. I'm sure the 60 TP is gonna come back for me. There's the leopard. I'm fine with that. We're gonna pull away from the leopard. We're gonna go straight for the cap here. Um, we're gonna wait till I'm unspotted. And we're gonna go straight back for the leopard. So let's see, which way is he gonna come from? Let's pre-aim this corner here. Get a nice, good shell into him there. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Now, if the 60 TP pushes for our Skoda, hopefully he'll get spotted. There's the 60 TP. Okay. Leopard's in the mid. 60 TP turning the other opposite direction. I gotta kill this Leopard. They're le they're, all their mobility is in this Leopard here. If we kill the Leopard... <gasps> Are you kidding, gun handling? I had to kill that Leopard. The fact that I didn't kill him is going to be really detrimental to me. But we can still pick up a kill on this Leopard here very, very quickly here. So let's wait till we start getting unspotted. Okay, Leopard messed up. Leopard messed up. I should be fast enough to catch up to him here. I don't think he's going to be able to escape me. This is perfect for me. There we go. But now we do have a massive cap deficit to work down, don't we? So we're going to have to go straight for B cap or C cap here. We don't really have a choice at this moment. Oh, close game. Close game. This is sweaty. This is very sweaty. Cap is such an issue. I'm a two shot. I have 11 second reload. He will probably have a 14 second reload. The big question is, how can we work this? I have to pen every shot here. Every shot needs to pen. So, APCR, tungsten activated just to increase my odds of penning. Of course, as per usual when it comes to RNG, RNG says no, we're not going to pen that. So, how am I going to play this out? We definitely have the mobility advantage over him. Maybe he'll low roll us. Oh, he low rolled us. That's perfect. That's all I need. That's all I need. All I need at this point was that low roll, and that low roll gives me the DPM advantage here to pick up the kill. So let's lay aim carefully. Whew! Sweaty! Well, I can tell you, 50 TP is a good tank. 50 TP prototype is still a good tank. I didn't really make much use of the tungsten shells there, but I definitely made good, good use of the of the mobility. That's where that reverse speed and that forward speed really helped. Now, I got lucky that that 60 TP low rolled me there uh, just a little bit, but uh, whew, sweaty. Okay, that makes up for the uh, the appalling game we had in the 60 TP. We're not going to pay attention. Back to the tier 10 we go, boys. Back to the tier 10. Smash the like button for that epic, very, very close game that we just had a moment ago. And um, let's reach that 400 like mark. I believe in you guys. Ладно, спасибо за стрим. Я спад. Пока. Пока, Игорь. Пока. Спокойной ночи. Supremacy is the only way to avoid mines. It is. I play both game modes just for the variety of gamers we can get. Mmm. That was a good game. Okay, back to the 60 TP boys, back to the 60 TP. Let's go forward and let's see. Mouse, Kron, IS-7, E-100. This could be a really good C fight on the heavy side, which should be well suited for the 60 TP. My primary goal is to try and take C corner. I have the support of a Conway in E-100 and a 57 heavy. Looks like the enemy 57 heavy does not want to take this fight. He's going to go mid. I can't blame him. The IS-7 will get here probably before me. The Kron, definitely not. The Mouse E-100 will definitely be much slower. As predicted, the IS-7 did make it to the corner before me and spotted me up. So we're going to have to be careful in this crossing here. Let's see. IS-7 won't quite have shots on me. And let's see. Yeah, perfect. All right. We should be able to take corner control here. Corner control is going to be really key for our success in this game. We do have just enough gun depression to potentially work this corner. Hmm, not quite enough. Let's think about this scenario we are in. Okay. IS-7 doesn't have much support. Looks like the Waffenträger isn't even in the corner. I'm sorry, Conway. I really didn't mean to block your shot there. I was just trying to pull through. That was my bad, bro. We got an I-7 here. Does hit a nice shot on my lower plate. He's going to angle his hull back when pulling out. So let's put a heat shell right through superstructure when he's doing that. It's it's good to be predict to be able to predict what the enemy team is going to do. So if they're pulling out of a position, it's almost all guaranteed that they're going to pull out at an angle. And so if it's in an I-7, you should definitely take advantage of that fact to really just smash them right through that angle. Now this bat chat's pending every shot through me. We do manage to get one bounce from him, but we should be able to win this. Um, IS-7 stuck in the open. Bat chat should be reloading right about now. You know what? While I have tungsten activated, let's nuke this bat chat. 790, a very nice high roll on him. The 57 is definitely in some trouble here, so we gotta watch out for that. Uh, but I think he should be fine. I'm gonna wait for this cron to pull forward on the 57. We're gonna push shell into this cron when he does that. Hopefully we'll get an 8, 750 max roll. 
Not quite. 524. Did hear the crew skill perk activate, but we didn't max roll. Nice work. 57. Kron goes down there. We got E100 is on A. Mouse is in mid. Hello, enemy team. Talk about interesting plays. Let's see. We don't quite have a shot on this dude, but as for the E100, might be able to. Whoo! That shot goes far. My game feels really finicky right now. I can't. I can't really explain why, but it feels like it's glitching a little bit. <laughs> okay. So. Mouse in the mid. I'm surprised the mouse really didn't go my way. That would have been so much better for him if he had. Uh, here's the mouse here. Let's try and aim a shot in on his side. We'll go pick up a kill on the Batcha, actually, may as well. We do have a 57 to deal with. We're going to try and angle up here to manage to get one ricochet. That's better than zero. E100 Zolo into our 263. He won't last too long there. This uh, the poor, poor mouse is now stuck in the middle here. We'll pick up a quick kill on him. Good stuff. 57's in the mid. And the Waffenträger is pretty far out. Far out, man. Um, so, activated that adrenaline. Now, if you remember correctly, 57 Heavy did get a little bit of a turret armor adjustment. So his turret armor is really bad now. I mean, you can see just how gray and easy it is to penetrate that turret armor. I honestly feel bad for 57 Heavies nowadays. They got, it got <laughs> the worst kind of treatment it could get when it got its PBR textures. Its turret got hardcore nerfed. All right. Oh, oh, goodbye. I don't think we're going to quite pull out the, the, the miraculous 4K damage this game. But hey, we should still get a decent game in the end. 3.5. Is 60 TP better than E100? It depends. They both have their own individual strengths. So I can't really say one is much better than the other. Although if I'm honest with you, I think the 60 TP does have a bit of an edge over the E100 purely because it's a haul down heavy tank. E100 with all of its glory, its hit points, its angler armor, its gun, it still can't go haul down very well. Like, that's just a given. No matter how good of an E100 player you are, you're going haul down versus, like, a Kronwagen, or you're trying to go haul down even versus something like an IS-4, you're just not gonna, you're just generally speaking not gonna win that fight. The, the 60 TB is different. It retains that alpha damage. It retains that kind of gun characteristics, but it gets this crazy good turret armor, better mobility, all for sacrificing what 40 alpha on the ap rounds in my opinion that's that's just why the 60 tp is better it's purely because of that so let's put a quick <sighs> i don't know if i'm running supercharged on this tank but i think that's definitely a must if i'm not e5 is now up here gotta watch out for that 183 183 went left that's fine by me we also have this e5 up top above me i don't think he's gonna get a good shell into me here he's not let's see is anyone around this corner oh there's the mill not able to snap that shot in. Oh my gosh, my reactions feel really off right now. Can't quite explain it. I think I'm being a little aggressive, but I can see my whole team's in town. So aggressive isn't necessarily bad in this scenario. E5 is now up above here. So let's put a quick shell right into his lower plate. There we go. We're going to take one back in return, I'm sure. Oh, nope. Armor's working just fine. Do you have a 183 on my right? Going to keep an eye out for that. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to prioritize this 183. The moment I get an opportunity, we're going to shoot him in the side here. So 183 is pulling back. 569 to him there. We're going to pull forward. E5 has just fired. That's good for me. Conway is yellowing for me, maybe. I don't know if he's yellowing for me, but he will die all the same. So I'm going to put a kill shot onto him. Lovely. I'm going to keep holding the mid here. And yeah, 50, 60 TP. I don't know. It's really good. Now we can see the 183 is pre-aiming for me, so let's watch out for that. Hello, E5. E5 is just fired. I have him on mega reload here. So let's see. Are you going to pull forward on me, buddy? Oh, are you kidding? What was that? He's not going to get me. That's where that 20 reverse speed is. So handy, man. 60 TP on my left. This is a very undesirable situation. Although, you know what? 60 TP is not even looking at me. Let's see if we can aim for that Amorak. It should be right about there. Uh, not quite. It's in multiple locations, but that is one of the positions of the Amorak. Good shot by the 5 here. Let me make sure the 60 TP doesn't have shots on me. 60 TP is now getting pressured, so let's get ready to put another shot onto him. I'm totally taking shots from this E5, but... I want to make sure we clear our flanks first. This E5 is going to be much harder to kill than the 60 TP here, especially with how he's playing. Um, goodness, E5 just goes for a little YOLO run there. That's cute. Anyways, we should have positioning here. 183 is dead. It looks like the, the Mills might poke around this right-hand corner here. Let's put a quick shot on this side. 570. Man, I feel like we can get a lot of damage this game. We just got to take it easy and not bleed any more hit points than we've already bled. And if we do that, we could probably get 5,000 out of this battle. So let's see, E5, activate tungsten shells here. Okay, maybe not the E5, E100, there we go, 700. 
We should be able to hit at least one more shot with Tungsten Shells before this game is over. Do you know what? We're going to go for the Vickers here. Because he's a more dangerous player. And he's also yelling into the mid with a highly mobile light tank. So killing him is more of a priority for me. Do you manage to hit him for 850? Looks like he's going for a yo. I don't think he's going to survive. I don't know what he was doing. He was from Void 2. We should have about 5,000 damage here. Lovely stuff. And we're going to just push forward. Yeah, 60 TP in a town fight, man. This tank is solid. You just got to take it careful. Don't over, don't, don't over push it, you know. We're going to put a quick shot onto this dude's side here. Perfect. You want to did a good job angling there, but unfortunately, I was able to just pull past him. And it's like, what? 5,700 damage? Not bad. Not bad. Oh, man. That's, uh, that's poor Vickers Light, man. He had full HP one moment, and he just went kaboom the next. 5,500 damage. Um, yeah, poor, poor Vickers Light. How much did I hit him for? Because I caught him on fire. Oh, 870. Yikers. With an AP. 412 likes. Good job, guys. Keep smashing that like button. We get to that 500 like mark. I mean, there's 500 of you guys watching, so I hope we, uh, I hope this can be happen happening. <laughs> E100 is a tank for pros. I I think 60 TP is as well, though. Let's be honest. 60 TP is pretty good. That's a yo. E75, Kron. Honestly, it's supremacy. I think going town is probably an easier fight. But then again, they have a lot of haul down heavies. I don't know. I'm just going to go town personally just because I can't be bothered to go all the way uphill right now. I'm lazy. Yes, you heard it from me. I'm a lazy player. You'll notice that quite often, sometimes I'm too lazy to take a, a more logical fight. So I just go straight and somehow make it work out. Laziness. Don't be lazy. Don't be like fatness. Don't be lazy. Hello. 680 into his lower plate. Now I got spotted there, which means someone had to be there that spotted me, right? I'm going to pull back from the C75. I'm going to pop my adrenaline just so I can guarantee one more shell. Maybe the C4 E4 will give me a shot or this Waffenträger. 666. <laughs> The devil. Uh, we can make a nice little kind of high roll on that dude. We have a grill over here on our left. How lovely is that? E75 is still doing his best to maintain this position. Good for him. I'm glad I went town because this is like an absolutely easy fight for me. I can just keep holding town and have farm for days. The moment one of these fools pokes forward, makes that mistake, boom. Oh. Oh. I really, I really just shouldn't use HE in the 60 TP unless I have a max roll loaded up because it really isn't that good. Hmm. E4. Hasn't fired yet. If he hasn't fired, he might still poke. Oh, is that a grill on my left? Oh, that's a yo on my left. Let's load up a heat shell just for his upper plate. 530 into him. Good stuff. 2,000 damage already dealt. I mean, yeah, this is pretty easy. It's just a town fight and a 60 TP, man. It doesn't get simpler than this, especially when you're haul down. Let's see who else. So there is a grill still on this left-hand corner here. Let's see if we can snap a shell into him. Not quite. Unfortunately, my shot got a little bit blocked there by the 53 TP or 50 TP. Um, yeah. Okay. So, we know there's still in a mill around this corner, covered by a grill. There's an E4 here as well. Let's put a quick track shot into him. There we go. Mill's fired once, at least. We need to make sure this E4 dies. So, let's push around for this E4. That way, we can keep all of our opponents in front of us. And by doing so... Oh, no, 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 no. Let me through. I, I can kill him. For you. I'll take the shot. I'll do everything I can to keep you alive here. We just have to make sure this dude dies. Lovely. Armor works well there. This game is still quite close. We're going to have to be careful about that. I think at this point, I, the best move is for me to take shots from this Emil and just for my teammates to bum rush him at the first moment's notice. Let's wait a couple seconds so our tungsten shells are back. There we go. Oh, come on. That was point blank. That was such a throw on my part. I really should not have missed that shot. That could be very detrimental in a few minutes now. That could be very, very detrimental to the outcome of this game. 688 to this dude. Come on, 50 TP. You can hit him one more time. Make him a one shot for me. I'll try and take any shots to keep you alive. I'm trying to push him out so he can't kill you. Oh no, they still have a 4 to a 2. Uh, this game is kind of scuffed, isn't it? Missing that one shot might have thrown this game. Okay, okay. Nice one a mil. Nice one a mil. Let me just pull back from here. Okay. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Let me see if I can quickly put a kill shot into this dude. Okay, perfect. Come on. Perfect. Perfect. Keep holding. They got double caps. I'm going to cap B. Take that pressure off of us. We're going to get that cap pressure on them. So, we're going to get the B cap here. Now, let's see how, how are we going to do this. So, we got a, a Mills carcass here. Okay, I don't think they're going to poke from that side. This is going to be a close game. Let's see. 
appreciate your students. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much, Mark. I appreciate it. I will, uh, I gotta focus on my game for now, but thank you. I appreciate the donation. Okay. If he's pulling all the way out like that, my best bet is just try and figure out if I can get on A. So we're gonna need to figure out the cap deficit we're at. Now, they're gonna expect me to go for A eventually, right? That's the logical play here for them, is to be pre-aiming for A. My bet is they're gonna have the, the Yo probably sitting in the ditch to protect A. So I'm gonna try and protect our 50 TP here by going left. Let's see, we're gonna get double cap. We have two minutes. There's that Yo in the ditch. Right as I predicted, he is indeed in the ditch here. So before he can pick up that kill, okay, we can keep him off of this. Okay, he is now a one shot with HE, at least. He's gonna be scared to poke us here. Do manage to pick up the kill there, perfect stuff. And now I just need this dude to stay alive. Man, sweaty games today! But we are performing quite well on the 50 TP for the most part. We just have to hold. We got Mega Cap here. Yeah, you can't do anything now. You're stuck. And we got Double Cap. So this should be a GG for us. Now, is, he, is there a rock he's hiding behind? I'm sure he's hiding behind a rock of some kind. Nope. Put a nice shell onto his side. Should have used my tongues and shells there. Feels bad, man. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? How's your day going? Hope your day's going well, bro. All right, bro. It's time for you to say goodnight. About 6,000 damage. Ah, the Vibraton. <laughs> oh, man. Sweaty. But we got the ace. I wouldn't say that was a best played game by me. What am I averaging 60 TP? 4,638 damage, eight games in. Not bad. Molodiet. Spasiba, Vikusha. Spasiba. And that's how you're doing today. I'm doing well, thank you. I'm doing quite well, actually. I'm enjoying the 60 TP. Good tank. Good tank. Sweaty games. Can you do the Tech Tree 50 TP and uh, compare it to the 50 TP prototype? I already did a game in the 50 TP prototype. I gave a lot of input on the 50 TP Tech Tree tank. Um, they're both quite good. What language is he speaking? R Russian. And you're so good. Thank you. I appreciate it. Big brain fat is yes. 455, 451 likes. Oh, we're getting close to 500 likes, guys. We're getting close. Smash the like button. Another ace. It's deserving of another 50 likes, I think. Let's make a deal, guys. Every ace is worth hmm, 25 likes. We'll, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> oh, I forgot the yo, but compare is good in Tech Tree Nation. Okay. So, hmm. 60 TBs going into the rightmost ditch. Double 60 TBs into the rightmost ditch. We got no one to cover fire the rightmost ditch. Problems, problems have been, have been made. I wonder, hmm. Okay. He didn't commit to the ditch, got cold feet. 268's in the mid. Got a, oh, there's an E100 here. Don't quite have shells on him. I'm trying to make a decision. Do I push into the ditch or not? That's, that's a hard decision to make right now. Here is a T28, so let's put a quick shell towards him. Good. Just bringing his HP down. So double 57's over there. We got 60 TP's up top. Uh, these guys are bleeding a lot of hit points already. Can you guys just make some room? Just a little bit of room for me? Excuse me. There's really no point in you poking up here anymore. 50B, you're super weak. Pull back. 50B, you're gonna kill yourself. Pull back. Just pull back. Pull back. Let me take, let me take this. I'm at full HP 60 TP. I have the hit points to work this corner here. You should really utilize that fact. All right, so let's put a quick AP shell into this dude, 690. Adrenaline popping. We have a 60 TP now behind us. Looks like our E100 is spawn sniping. That would explain a lot, actually. So, here's what we're gonna do. This 60 TP is gonna go down pretty quickly with the Progetto here. We're gonna start pulling back from him. 660 into this dude. I'm going to make the assumption they're going to go for our low HP 60 TP, which should give me time to escape from this corner here. Well, unfortunately, he was big brain, went for the, went for me because the Progetto had the kill, but in the end, we're still going to pick up a kill on this dude. Now I'm in a safe position. I had to pull out of the ditch there. I didn't have much of a choice, and I didn't want to take their 60 TP frontally. Will he have shots on me? Potentially, but I don't think he's going to poke that. We're in a fine position indeed. Okay, so 268. Aiming, 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 aiming. He pulled back, fortunately. Alright, big brain by him. Oh, wait. Oh, there's a 57 heavier, though. Let's see. I just gotta keep holding my position here. Oh! 
Big brain. I messed up my shot. Look at this 57. What a gamer. Okay. I'm going to go help our 57 out over here. And we're going to try and kill their low HP 60 TP in the ditch here. Who doesn't have a ton of support. So he should be a pretty quick kill here for me. What's up, brother? Let's go for that Amarak, maybe. Oh, -ho! so don't shoot it at that angle. You can actually see the red outlining behind. That was a bad shot by me. I don't think I was able to farm much this game. This game was a bit interesting, to say the least. All right. Amarak, maybe. No, not quite. And 57 should be able to kill this dude. Unless he's just running away. In which case, I'll just send it. 57 should have him all the same. Nice. All right, well, it's another dub. Ever thought about playing on PC? Oh, nope, I see my screen finicking out. Sorry, guys. Um, I have considered it, but I don't want to. Because as a professional player, you're only able to play tournaments on mobile. So I really have no reason to switch to PC. Especially as I'm quite comfortable playing on my phone. Or, I mean, on my iPad. So... Oh, no, I'm so sorry. I can see the screen glitching out, and I can't figure out why. Oh, come on. Stop being so passive, dude. Accept your fate. <laughs> I'm learning about drugs right now. Huh, interesting. Why are you on a press account? Uh, just because... Oh, another ace. <laughs> so easy to ace this tank, I forgot. Oh, I didn't do much damage that game. That was a bit of pepega of me. I should have been more aggressive there. Um... Uh, I'm on my pressing up mostly because I have not unlocked all the vehicles on my main account for the 60 TP, and I don't like free XPing everything. I prefer to play because there's, there's no fun free XPing every tank. Where are you, bro? Your Russian language is pretty good. Um, Bla Vlad, I am in California. Thank you, by the way. <laughs> Hello, happy daddy. Do you prefer playing on iPad or PC? Um... I haven't really played PC very much, maybe a couple times at the most, once I was forced to for a wargaming stream, but from my experience, I'm more comfortable on iPad. It's just what I've always played with, so to me, that's what I prefer. Bro, I don't know what's up with this this cable setup. It's really annoying, because I want you guys to have a, uh, uh, a smooth viewing process, and it's just kind of flashy, flashy. I really need to just get like a every, I need to replace every cable in my HDMI setup to make sure that there's, I can rule out any of the potential issues here. All right, 5A, 675 into him, nice. That 5A is going to be hauled down, he's going to be very problematic in that position. 60 TP is also going to be hauled down on the right hand side here, and there is also a 50 TP flanking my team, so 50 TP, hmm. He's in the open. Let's put a quick shell into him. 721. Gotta love those shells increasing my alpha damage. Make sure we're still safe from a crossfire here. We should still be safe. Uh, 60 TB might get a little bit aggressive here to try and pick up a kill on the 268. Which he might pick up. Track him. 600 into his side there. Perfect stuff. 50 TP is still kind of ice on the flank. And right now I'm just kind of holding out. I really dislike pushing all the way into the, uh, the missile silos. In my opinion it's pretty sucky position to fight at. So let's put a quick eight heat shell. 490. Bit of a low roll there. Yeah, we've already dealt 2,500 damage. And I never had to push in once. When you're playing on this map, I personally think, for the most part, being a little bit more passive is the, is the way to do it. In other words, don't be that dude who YOLOs into the middle of the missile silo. Unless you have, like, a lot of teammates there to really take the shots and, and keep you alive. In which case, that's not too bad of a plan. Alright, so, 50 TP is going to need to go down here. Pull forward. Thank you. We have a TVP behind us. We have 60 TP in the corner. He's going to go down quickly. Our 263 is about to go bye-bye. We, we also have a TVP kind of looking our direction. So, let's keep an eye out on that TVP. Right. I don't think we can quite hit him. Oh, we can. There we go. Right to the top of his turret there. Good stuff. Man, this tank is just solid. Like, and you can use the armor, but here's how it comes. When it comes to playing the tanks, I always prefer to use the armor as like a kind of a, a necessity when you need to. But don't always go playing a tank trusting in its armor. I think that's a really important, especially important for tanks like the E100, but also tanks for the 60 TP as well. Because if you do get caught in the open, you are going to get pepeged. Let's probably kill a shot into this dude. 268, how you doing over here, buddy? I think for farming damage purposes, it's my turn to start pulling up forward on these fools. Let's see if this, let's see if this TBP makes the, the big brain mistake and gives me the HE on the side. 787, not bad. Now we know where the Yag is, so we're not going to pull into the Yag there. But we are going to start pressuring the 60 TP here, who is being blocked by the TBP. Uh, we should be able to pick up a kill shot on this dude. Lovely stuff. I7, you can go now. 
Or not. You, you can just go. You have the HP. Just go. Uh-oh. Livestream. Uh-oh. I hope you can still see it. You probably can still see it. It just had the refresh. <laughs> yeah, I still have a clean bitrate. Okay, yeah, you, you guys can still see. Yay, for some reason it crashed on mine. Not a bad game. If, if, if we had the update, we wouldn't be here. <laughs> oh, that was 5k damage? So easily. Ah, this tank. I have the update, but I'm not going to grind the tanks for a while. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the updates. I see like some people are saying I don't have the update. Some people are saying they do have the update. Personally, I updated the game at like 5 a.m. this morning and had no problems with that. So I don't know what's up with that. Screen is from the charging kit. We're moving. I'll be okay. Dylan, I thought that would be the case, but I, I, I swapped to my high quality straight HDMI cable to my Elgato capture card. Um, without a charger, without the charging block or anything, and it actually glitched even more. So I think it's something to do with either the HDMI port, uh, USB port, and cable. I just have to try and experiment. It's kind of the worst part about these problems, you just gotta kind of experiment with them, figure out if you can fix it or not. But for the most part, if I don't touch my screen too much and I just keep my cable stationary, it seems to work pretty well. We're gonna take a shot from that dude, that's fine. I'd rather take map control. Always important on, on this map to not give up the mid control. If you give up the mid control, then your team can be kind of doomed. So good to just chill here. We're just going to chill here and see what type of shot opportunities I'll get during this game. All right. I'm going to 60 TP's being passive. He doesn't want to push up on me. Understandable. I has four. Can't quite pen. Here's where having a more... Here's where having calibrated be kind of useful. I don't know. Do I want to go for it? Yeah, I guess I can just go for that shot. Okay, Waffenträger pulled out. One to one has corner, but he's not going to take it with our E50M in that location. 183. What's up, bro? He's probably going to shoot Hash at me. Yep, as predicted. Splashing me for about 500. 60 TPs, 50 TPs pushing up. Let's put 700 into him. Lovely. Using those shells to our advantage. And we are doing pretty good. Zlabina. Privet, bro. Privet. Dobro pajalwe, bro. Ah! Noob! <laughs> All right. Well, this game is fine. This game is fine. We'll be fine. I think I just got to keep holding hold down here. We can put a heat shell into this U hunter's turret roof. Oh, yeah, noob. I am. I am a noob. I can't aim. I actually can't aim. <laughs> I should have taken like a thousand damage out of the Z100 already, but my my stupid self can't aim apparently. Okay, we do hit that shot at least. E50 I'm sold in corner. We should be fine holding mid here. Uh, 50 TP is being really aggressive. I don't think he's gonna have good shots on me though. It's his mistake. Perfect. And E100 is now pushing up a lot. I don't think he notices me, so let's put a shot towards his fuel tanks. There we go. Catching him on fire, as I had hoped. He is burning up. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. We have a 50 TP here. 183 doesn't quite have shots on me yet. 50 TP. I can't quite pen him from here. Unless we were able to hit his hatch. You know what? At this point, can we just push over on this dude? There's still Waffenträger unspotted. Oh, there he is. Shh. What? <laughs> what was that? Just totally just bounced off this dude. Oh, they still have full HP 60 TP? Well, that's not good. Let's pick up a kill on this IS-4 though, while we can. Okay, okay. Uh, 183 is still in the mid. We still have uh, the 121 here. 183 is not paying attention, which means our 60 TP can nuke him. This might give me an opportunity to pick up a kill on him. So we have a 60 TP pushing in from behind us. At this point, hmm, this is bad. Our 60 TP needs to make a play. I think I'm just going to push for the ditch at this point. Didn't feel good, but it was the play I had to make there, because there, we have that dude crawling up behind us. 183 did fire. Okay. I should have reload on the 183 really easily here. So, let's see if we can... What a waste of a shot. So this 60 TP is obviously going to come for me. So how do I stay alive here? Hmm. I gotta try and bait a shell out of this dude, if possible. Hopefully he'll go for the 50M. Oh, he did go for the 50M and not me. Can activate our tungsten shells here. Shell to his side, 600, even though we have 530 AP alpha. This should be fine. We're in a good position here. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. 
Go for the 50M, buddy. Don't go for me. I have 10 seconds left to nuke him. Perfect. So let's hope he pulls back right in front of me. Amrak, maybe? Nah, 700. Still, I have a really good reverse speed. So we're just going to reverse at 20 kilometers an hour. He should be safe in this scenario. There we go. e 50 m still doing his thing. We're going to pop the adrenaline here. And we're just going to not get ourselves killed. So if I die, I can't guarantee the C50M is going to do it. E50M, don't, don't block me, though. This is the key. Okay. I wonder. What are you doing, buddy? There we go. I, what's our 60 TP? How is our 60 TP not killed their Waffenträger yet? Like, come on, dude. It's a one shot for like the last two minutes. GG 250M. You stayed alive and did a good job there. And held corner. Oh, boy. It's good. That was a good game. It was a little sloppy by me. I had a bit of a panic moment versus the one to one. Took two shots in the side. Really made the game closer than it should have been. But uh, not bad. Not bad. I think we'll be on about yeah, 5,000 damage again. So our average in this tank is now 4,611 games in. Not too bad. So do you like the new level 10 tank? Da, mine очень нравится. 60 TP. GG. Спасибо, Zlabina. Спасибо. WG Armor 2 OP. Dude, Sponge for real. For real, it's really, really cracked, isn't it? 60 TP probably was just uh, sightseeing. Maybe, maybe that was, maybe that was the case. Ugh, this camera is always out of, the, out of the way. Ah, <sighs> can never get it to be straight. I do need to order that stand. In fact, I have the funds chart. I should order it li right, right now, before I forget. <laughs> All right, so M4 MLE. That's actually a really good tank to counter me, to be honest. It has gun depression, penetration, alpha damage. Kron also can counter me. My whole team's going right. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna take corner. I don't like taking corner on this map, but if I get stuck in the mid by C with a Kron and an M4 looking down on me, it's gonna be really painful. So I'm not gonna do that. I think I'd much rather uh, miss the 62A point blank instead. That's that's a better plan, right? All right, here's the painful part. Try not get nuked crossing. There's the 57. As I had predicted, he is just kind of pre in the middle here. And we have, let's see, there's a 57 there, Kron's there, don't quite have shots from here, that's fine. Although, they're getting distracted, I wonder if we can... They're all turning around. I wonder if we can big brain on anyone from here. Is the 57 turning around all the way? He's probably gonna pull back from me. Yeah, he sees I'm coming. Alright, we're gonna put a shell into him here. One bounce, one track shot, let's try and avoid the track shots here so we don't get completely pepegged, and we should be hold on again. Lovely! This is a good spot for me, actually. 57 is going to put one more shell towards me and pull back. <gasps> How did I hit his tracks? I thought I aimed for his turret there. That shot must have gone super low. Goodness. Okay. I see how it is, Wargaming. All right, we got an M4 MLE here. Do manage to snipe his hatch there. Lovely stuff. Looks like they don't have a 183 across the corner at all, which is fine by me. I'm just going to keep holding this ditch for now. Hmm, the Vickers could come in for me. That'd be problematic, wouldn't it? All right. 57 puts one shell into my hatch. Good for him. 600 into him there. A grill's getting YOLO'd. He should be fine. Don't... 183's maybe in B cap? I don't know. What's this Vickers doing? If we can kill this Vickers, we'll be fine. Hmm. I'll leave him for the 60 TP in the grill. I'm going to go for the M4 MLE at this point. He's, he's the one stuck in the open, so... Let's see. Just put a shot onto his side. 590... 60 TP still with me. He just fired. Don't know where the 183 is, but odds are he's probably in their spawn covering these guys. Uh, as I am a certified damage farmer, I'm going to ignore all these low HP targets to shoot this one. Oh, there we go. All right, and now we should just go straight for their 60 TP as this dude's going to be dead any moment now. Yes. Hmm. 60 TP. Come here, boy. I want to farm you. No. Don't get yourself farm, boy. I want to farm you. There we go. Maybe I will ram. Oh, what a fast game. Oh, dear. <laughs> I can watch Fatty stream. Yeah, you can. Good night, bro. У меня уже ночь. Хорошо. Спокойной ночи, Злабина. Пока, бро. Пока. Not bad. Not bad. Now are you going to grind this tank or not? Yeah, definitely. I got to get this tank on my account for sure. 
Love you, Fanis. Watching the stream on toilet paper work is the absolute best. Ah, oh, you're the absolute, you're the absolute boss, dude. Watching my stream on the pooper before committing to the job. Now, are you gonna grind this? Yes, yes. When you realize T49 has a better HE Alpha 780, yes, that's true. I still only get, uh, got the upgrade. Can anyone help? I still don't get the update. I don't know what's up with the update, guys. I honestly have no idea. I just up updated this morning and it worked just fine for me. I was glad to play pub matches. <laughs> Sponge, don't be scared. Be frightened. How does it compare to E100? Um, it feels very different. E100 is a tinker. You just got to be holding and like nuking people when they're not looking. 60 TP is more like you got to just kind of... It feels like you can be a lot more aggressive, a lot more mobile, but it also feels a little bit more fragile, if that makes sense. Like one wrong move and you're just going to absolutely die in this tank, if you know what I mean. There we go. Tungsten shells coming in useful there. We should be able to at least angle up some more shots. There we go. Working the hull just fine there. We do have an IS-7 here. He was uh, being a little bit aggressive, isn't he? Just a little bit aggressive, huh? Oh, let's go for, I don't know, the O. No, IS-7. You, you suck. <laughs> just blocking my shots there. Okay, 60 TP's coming in from behind, so let's keep hugging this corner here. This Fosh is about to lose all of his hit points in an instant. I'm going to save my repair kit here. Even if I take an extra shot, I'd rather have a repair kit than to be nuked and almost dead. All right. Now let's show to this. Yo. Oh my gosh. Look at the firing squad over there. Oh no. We're going to get shot right inside of the turret here. Poo poo. Poo poo uh, prioritizing by me. All right. Oh, 60 TB getting Amrakt. 545. We should be able to face hug this dude pretty well here and pull back whenever he tries to pull forward. We're going to go for the face hug and then pull back. Perfect. Looks like he should go down. Oh my goodness. Vanishing. Absolutely vanishing. Another shot with the 60 TP. There's an E4 chieftain and a 4005 behind us. This dude's going to go down any moment now to the 57 heavy though. So yeah, he should go down pretty quickly here. Leaves the chieftain mark six in the open here. Mm, there we go for the shot, I guess. Yeah, use my repair kit now to get out of the crossfire here. I'm going to pop my adrenaline. I want to get some more damage in before this game is over. So let's try and avoid this Chieftain Mark 6. There we go. I'll put another shell into Z4. Damaging his Amorak. Try and angle up here. Please don't Amorak me. If he Amorak me, I'm going to be so disappointed in myself. Okay. Didn't get Amorak. He's going to go down pretty fast. And this 57 is about to get absolutely hammered here. Quick kill shot. Not bad. Yes, this tank works really well in a town environment. Now, the quill question, I think a comparison people would actually be interested in. Also, thank you, by the way, guys, for 500 likes, is... Would an E100 perform worse or better there? That's difficult to say, because I feel like an E100 probably would have performed very similar, if not better in that scenario. So when it, when it comes to those kind of holding in a town engagement fight, I feel like the E100 to a degree still has an edge. Especially at holding positions because of the hit point advantage the E100 gets. When it comes to going haul down, making more of those pressure plays, and overall just being maybe a little bit more aggressive, I feel like the 60 TP has an edge. So it's really just a bit difference in play styles with the tanks. They are comparable, but I feel like they just play very different for the most part. Although they can both fulfill the same role, just I think they're both specialized in different areas. E100 is much better kind of holding and nuking, or the 60 TP is better just going haul down and nuking those who are unsuspecting. Got a 57 heavy in the open. Put one shot to the side of him, 700, damaging his Amorak. I don't think the Amorak used to be there in the 57 Heavy. We should be able to get a second shot into this dude, I'm sure. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. 60 TP bounces, 700, 671. Lovely stuff. Just pre-aiming for that 60 TP's lower plate. And we've already dealt, what, 1300 damage with two shots. Not bad. Um, let's think about this. How are we going to progress from here? E3 is probably sniping an enemy spawn. That's to be expected. 50 TP is in the middle. 57 Heavy is here, but he's also pretty low in hit points now. E50M is on the left-hand side here. Please don't block my potential shot opportunities. They're capping B. I don't want to over-aggress by myself here. That would be a mistake. Conway's in the middle here. 57's here. Let's put a quick shot onto the 57. Perfect. Now we know where the E3 is as well. Issue is that 50 TP prototype's in the corner there. So he's in a really good spot to counter me now. 60 TB just fired. Good. 
750 max roll into the 50 TP prototype, we'll be able to get in the cover. This is why improved gear oil is so good on this tank, because that 20 reverse speed. Like, never underestimate the power of a good reverse speed on a tank. It really can be incredible. All right. No, 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 no. Let, let, let me try this, homie. Let me try this out, buddy. There we go. 580. Able to hold the side scrape there quite well. Now, that is the issue with side scraping with this tank. Once again, you do have a pike, kind of a semi-pike nose, similar to an IS-4. So when it comes to side scraping, you have to be really cautious about overexposing that frontal cheek. I don't want to watch out for that E3. All right. Let's see. Maybe this... this 50 TP will pull out in front of me again, or maybe this 50 sound will just give me a kill. Lovely. So, E3 is holding me prone. My team should be able to win that side, I hope. Right? Right team? Right team? Guys? You got that, right? <laughs> I'm a little concerned about my team's safety right now. I'm not really sure what they're trying to accomplish here. All right. Another turret ring shot penning right there. Perfect. Let's pop the adrenaline now. I think I might see an opportunity here. Let's see. Hmm. And see where the E3 is. I think we're going to pop it. Pop the tungsten shell. 600 into this dude. Oh, e 3s coming in from behind. This is bad. We see where the E3 is. 60 TP just fired. Now, this dude's going to have to reload on me. Unfortunately. Conway as well. But I don't really have a choice. The E3's still coming for me here. Team. Stotty dealish. How? How? How did our whole team in spawn fail to even do one shot of damage to the E50M before dying? I, um, yeah, I couldn't do much there. I did 5k damage, but yeah. I don't think there was much else I could have done there. I, I played that. I played a good game there. I played a good game there. I was just in a really bad scenario after that. Do you play on the ERC European server? I do not. I have a press account on the European server, but generally speaking, because the ping is a bit higher than NA, I like to prioritize the NA server. So, there you have it. I'd be too ashamed to play a smasher. Well, if you want to be ashamed to play a smasher, just look up a video called How to Play Smasher, posted by yours truly. No shame in sniping Smasher. I mean, playing the Smasher. <laughs> Where was I? I'm going to go town. I'd rather go town here than Encounter. I think Encounter is going to be Pepega with all those 60 TPs. But if we can sweep town, we can put some pressure on them from the side. Especially when they have a Badger, too. All right. My whole team's going town. Didn't quite want that, but it's what we have. Why did the fish uh, join the army? Wanted a bigger tank. Ha ha ha. <laughs> How did I get spotted? Hello? It's a little bit uncool getting spotted that quickly. Okay, Badger, 60 TPs. We have the Emil's positioning. Emil's slightly towards the entrance of town. I'm sure the 57 could be around in the vicinity. I have the support of one medium tank, but we should be able to get a nice flank here on the Badger. Maybe an early shot into him with tons of shells. HE loaded. How did we only get him for 300? I don't know. But apparently we did. It is what it is. So Badger's going to turn his attention to me, but he can't really turn his attention all the way because he's in a crossfire to put a shot onto him. Catching him on fire by hitting his engine deck there as I had hoped. And we're going to watch out for this Vickers now coming in from our side. Good stuff. The Emil gets full health because he wanted to turn towards me. Uh, and he lost full hit points in a matter of seconds. Poor fellow. Here's a 60 TP below us. Aim for that Amarak. It's right there. Sometimes when you high roll, you do make it go boom. Okay, so Badger's pulling to his position of safety. Vickers is um, wandering around all over the place, to be honest. Man, I think we're just gonna put a eight, a five. See, I keep getting the crew, that actual crew perk activation sound, and it's rolling like 500. This is really annoying. What have you done to the Maxwell crew skills, Wargaming? 60 TP is looking, and so is the Badger. So let's not poke that. Really, he hits that shot. What a god tier gamer, huh? I'll hit one back. <laughs> this game's over. This game is so over. Badger, you really have nothing better to do, buddy. I can't blame you. You got bombed by a 60 TP, and you, you don't want to repeat that experience. One cannot blame you for such behavior. Oh, 
Don't overangle this tank. Its armor will not hold up well to that. Are you kidding? Got his full clip into me. Darn. Pro player. Okay. Because. Okay, he's down. So that leaves a 57 heavy left. Nice. He should be reloaded in about 10 seconds, and we'll do about 3,000 damage. Not a bad game. Unfortunately, I wasn't in a good position to really farm a ton of damage, but we still did solid performance on the whole. All right. Okay, pull forward. You want to pick up that kill, don't you? You just want to. I know you do. Fired twice. He has one shell left. He didn't go for the kill, or will he? <laughs> this gun can be so troll sometimes, man. I can't believe he didn't just go for the kill right off the bat. Darn it. I could have had the extra damage there. 3.2. One more shot. If I had hit that shot, it would have been at like 3.8. Feels bad, man. <laughs> Take a shot every time Fatness and Amorak. Dude, I've barely seen I, uh, 60 TPs get Amorak. I don't understand why. <laughs> Yes, we're busting out the second water bottle. My man is packing the water. All right. <laughs> Let's see. So, what do we got here? Hmm. They have 57 VK72, 50 TP, M5 Yo. We're going to go heavy side and we're going to bomb their heavies. Like, they're going to be absolutely slaughtered by the presence of my 60 TP. This, I promise. Hello, 57. And a good early shot off into him. I'm going to use a repair kit here just to make sure we get into cover without getting shot. That's kind of important. Okay. So. I think I got to activate the adrenaline now. And this yo is pulling forward right into my... Oh, oh okay. We'll, we'll shoot the 60 TP instead, I guess. Or 50 TP. Not sure what his plan was there. Hopefully the yo also makes a mistake and pulls forward. Or someone pulls forward. Because I want to utilize my tongues and shells for as long as possible. There we go, hitting the, the VK-72 through the front of the turret. Who said this gun handling was bad? Well, I did last game, but to be fair, it's really not that bad. It's quite good, in fact. So, for the alpha damage. All right, VK-72, your time has come. And boom, 479 through the turret. Yes, this is solid stuff. This is such an ideal scenario for the 60 TP. There's absolutely nothing tanks like this VK-72 can do here. He's outclassed in armor and gun performance by me. Just put a shot onto this dude just because he's easier to pen. And back to a position where this VK can legit do nothing to me at all. This poor VK. He's suffering so much. I must end his suffering. Right now. Right here. Alright. Let's see. Give me that lower plate, buddy. There we go. Good stuff. I mean, this game's over. I should just be YOLOing at this point. The game's over. Watch me get full health racked. Watch this be the game I get full health racked. Let me try and not show on my side then, so I don't... Oh yes, perfect. I'm gonna go straight for the Yak at this point. I can't be bothered. Let's go for the damage, boys. Go for the damage. Yag, come here. Come here, my little friends. Please don't rack me. No! Uh, stupid allies. Always ruining everything for me. <laughs> Not a bad game. That was a really fast game, though. That was a really fast game. I should have had that last one of the Yag, dude. That would have been like 4K if I... Oh, I did 4K. Well, it would have been like almost 5K. Uh, feels bad, man. T22 did good there, though. I just... Uh, sucks that that last shot kind of got bumped. <laughs> Maybe what I'm saying is that it doesn't always activate... Yeah, it doesn't always activate, but usually when it does activate, it creates the, the chime sound and it will show the explanation mark. And that's why it's annoying when it says it activates, but it doesn't. Unless it's a glitch because Wargaming messed with the RNG uh, average damage control factors on the 60 TP. So now it's like messed up for anything that that uh, adjusts average damage rolls. For for instance, max roll crew perk, which gives you the maximum damage roll. <laughs> All right. Double 60 TPs. There's a Sheridan. Okay. Hmm. I can't quite snap that one off. Okay. 160 TPs there. We know where the Sheridan is. We got a lot of meds on the flank. I think we're not going to get ourselves stuck down in that ditch. Not against the 60 TPs frontally. 
That just wouldn't go well for us. However, this 57 Heavy, on the other hand, is a different story. Much more supple and easy to deal with. Hmm. Sheridan, you're really starting to annoy me. Oh, gun. What was that? I hate it when the gun does that. We should be fine to just YOLO here. We already have control of the enemy's spawn. There's nothing they can really do about that. All right. Yeah, this game's over. We're not going to really farm much either, I think. Let's see. Maybe we can hit the back of this dude's turret or something and rack him. I don't know. Let's try. Still need 700. There we go. Good stuff. 544 likes. Guys, let's go for that 600 like mark. I believe in y'all. I think we can do it. Hey, buddy. Yep, just keep pulling forward, okay? Keep pulling forward and you might eventually get a shot on me, huh? That's right. Just keep pulling forward. Good job, buddy. Good job. I don't think I'm going to farm much. This has been a steamroll. We got triple caps as well, which is kind of problematic, actually, because with triple caps, we're just going to cap out before these dudes can do anything to him. And this yo is going to double tap this dude. We're going to leave him for now. I need damage. We're going to triple cap out so fast here. <laughs> My best bet is just going straight for the WZ. Oh, 57 still shooting at me and the ML shooting at me. Is everyone just allowed to shoot at me? Oh, where's the WZ at? Oh, the WZ's... Oh, he's a one-shot. Not even worth wasting my time. Where's their light tank at, then? What's the Sheridan's HP? I should have just gone for the kill. I thought- I didn't realize the WZ was over there. I thought those was the Vickers and the Emil. I didn't realize it was the WZ as well. What a waste of time. And HP. And we won. <laughs> Poo-poo game. Way too fast. Enemy died way, way too fast there. Feels bad, man. Only 2k damage. So it's my average now in the tank. Ah! 4.3k, 17 games in. Not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> I was hoping for 4.5, but I'll take 4.3. Looks like I can't anyone with the thyroid condition. Fast Fisher, how's it going? Welcome to today's stream. I dropped armor tanks for a while now, but the VK is still angled. So yeah, it's still worth it. Yeah, the VK is still a good tank. I just think 60 TP is probably just much better. What are these map rotations? Rockfield again. Let's try not throw 7,000 damage on Rockfield. I wonder if we can get an 8,000 damage game in the in the, uh, in the the 60 TP on stream. That would be very satisfying. I hope that is a thing. Let's see. Maybe it is. <laughs> Used to think the Object 705A going to come first before 60 TP. Yeah, but we already have so many silly heavy tanks. I mean, we had the IS-7, the IS-4, the Object 260. You know, already got three. So maybe they just thought, ah, let's hold off and go for something else. Plus 705A, I don't know how well that would work on Blitz. It's like a, ah, it'd be weird. It's like a dedicated reverse, like rear turreted tank, you know? RNG. Ah, RNG, you were too merciful at the start of this game. I expect you to absolutely screw me over for the rest of this battle. Oh, for instance, 183. I, I thought they were going to have tanks coming from this side. I didn't think they were going to YOLO quite so aggressively, though, to be fair. All right, 60 TP. No, bad shots by yours truly. It's okay. The 60 TP can't do much to me. I only have seven seconds left on the tungsten shells. If I shoot on reload, I can pen this dude and get a full tungsten alpha roll. But I have to shoot on reload. Are you kidding? Where did that shot go? Did it go under his tank again? Bruh. RNG. RNG does giveth and RNG does taketh, doesn't it? Does what it wants. Hmm, I probably shouldn't poke that. What's this leopard doing? I am a little concerned about this Leo here. Okay, Yag just fired. Leo is YOLOing through. Interesting. Let's put an HE torch. There, yeah, I told you. If RNG is too merciful at the start of the game, it's going to screw you over for the rest of the game. That that shot should not have missed. My goodness. Good thing I shot HE. It's the only reason I got so much damage off that. Oh my god. I'm wasting so much time here. Seriously. And this leopard's going to be annoying unless we can get him out of here.
Right, I'm running Rammer. I don't have enough pen to deal with him. Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. We got this Leo on our flank. We're somehow not winning corner yet. But we're still alive. We're still on a pretty good amount of hit points here. Let's see if we can finally avenge get this Leo out of the game. About time. Holy, is that our third shot? Like, we spent the last three minutes without a single shot. And we finally hit our third shot here. 668, perfect. We're gonna pull down below this dude, so we won't hopefully won't have the gun depression to shoot at anything but my upper plate here. And we're gonna go straight for this Yag after this. Oh, Yag's shot. Well, we'll go for the kill. It's more worth it right now to pick up the kill on the lower HP targets. And it's some 60 TP on 60 TP action. You know what? If you want to pull forward, be my guest. Yep, you're doing you're doing excellent work here, buddy. Excellent work. Prepare to get max rolled. <laughs> All right, so all the HP that's left is in their E75, who, I don't know where he is. Oh, but we'll just pull around behind him and farm him out. There you go. This is going to be a good game. Kind of sweaty. Um, RNG definitely did a lot of taking there after it gave me that Gloria shot at the start. But um, in the end, we still pulled through. We didn't throw too hard. Medium tanks have lost their re relevance due to the fact that now developers are improving heavy tanks in every possible way. It's very sad. I, I do agree, although at least some of the meds, like the Patton, are much more relevant than they used to be. Same with the 4 tier too. But you do have a good point about heavy tanks, such as the M6Yo, the 60TP, being super, super strong. Even though they nerf tanks like the Kron, the E5, they it's like getting replaced with a period of really interesting kind of super heavy tanks, you know? It is, it is kind of sad, but it's okay. I think meds will have their heyday again. And they're definitely much better than they were six months ago. Six months ago, they were a nightmare. It's not 5k. So that game was a was a mixture of, of great things and absolutely horrendous RNG moments, but also spectacular RNG moments. I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Fanners are using armor or calibrated. Rammer or calibrated. I am using rammer, although calibrated is not a bad option. You know, I might switch the calibrated. One more second on the reload might not be so bad. So, I don't know. It's worth considering because the thing is, if you're running rammer, you pop your adrenaline and your tungsten shells at the same time, you can get three shots out barely if you shoot consecutively with the tungsten, sh tungsten shells activated. However, if you run calibrated, you can only get two shots out in that manner. So it might just be, well, to be fair, I've had very few scenarios where I was able to even get three shots out anyways. So it might be worth it just to take the, um, to just take calibrated for the penetration, you know? Wait, are you kidding? I thought that engine deck was penable on that tank. Oh, no one's covering my right hand side here. Wait, I thought the suit. What did Wargaming change the Super Conqueror's armor profile? Because I do not remember it being that good. What a waste. Oh my gosh. Yes, E5, pull out forward on me, boy. Pull out on me, boy. 23 is in mid. Man, their whole team's in over in this corner. What kind of cover fire? I got a 62 and a Yag here. They can't pressure me just yet. In fact, they're going to get distracted soon because they're getting pressured from behind themselves. This is perfect for me, actually. There you go. Turret ring shot there. If the 60 TP tries to pull forward, we'll get cover. I'll have enough cover fire. I should be fine. Although we are going to lose our mouse, which is problematic. Once our mouse goes down, I'm, I'm going to be my stuck on a crossfire myself, which is never good. Oh, hello. Okay. We got to we got to make a decision here. Do we sit in the open and get crossfired out? Definitely not. Oh, I'm tracked in the open now. How great is that? He won't have reload. I have I have enough repair speed here to be fine. If he tries to pull forward, I should have No, the Yag abandoned my flank. Where did the Yag go? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, this Yag, I thought he was gonna cover my rear. Turns out it covered absolutely nothing. Team, how stupid. <laughs> what are you guys doing over here? Like Oh my goodness. I thought the Yag was going to sit there and cover me from behind so they wouldn't push me, but he just he just went and wandered all the way around our spawn. 
Unfortunately, our team was not very big brain and got absolutely destroyed on the mid there. I didn't meet some one wise shots myself. I didn't quite expect the uh, Super Conqueror. I, I'm almost positive you used to be able to pen it straight through that flat part on its turret, but now it just like is an auto ricochet zone. So I don't know if we're going to change that or if it's just that the 60 TP has such a low profile that you can't you can't have the height to shoot that. Although I thought you were able to pen above the spaced armor. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Gun should troll me a little bit there. So F in the chat to the average damage. Just a little bit. <laughs> I did not do very well that game. Although, compared to how my teammates performed, I'm sure I still did better than most of them. I mean, all of them. 57 just one shot. Bruh. Alright, well, let's just run calibrated. Let's switch to calibrated. Just give it a go. Feels bad, man. I was hoping... Not to have such a bad game there. I really just like Yukon on gen in general. Hey, Fanos, hope the midterms went well. Finally caught a live stream. Thank you. Yeah, so far they have gone well. Still have a few more to take care of, but... Why are we going left? No, my team's going left. I don't understand why. We have triple 60 TPs, a Kronwagen. Why are we going to go med side? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Hello? <laughs> but I gotta follow my team. So we're gonna go left with our team here. Even though I think it's an absolutely stupid idea. Um, just because everyone wants to go this way. I have absolutely no idea why they want to go left. I'm still confused. Like why on the earth would you take this fight? Alright. I can't quite see his tank, but that should be a pen. Perfect. This is a pretty good haul down position for me. Well, I thought, but apparently my lower plate is just exposed when I poke that corner. Interesting. We still might be hauled down enough here, though. Let's see. With calibrated shares, can we make a difference here, boys? Can we make a difference? I feel like I should be hauled down. Okay, we might be able to pen the front of this dude's gun. If he pulls forward on me. <laughs> this is, uh... I hate this kind of gameplay. I hate sitting stationary behind a, m a mound and waiting for the enemy team. 183, what are what on earth are you trying to accomplish here? Look, they're, they're gonna come from behind, dude. You may as well just pull back. What is what is your plan? Oh my gosh, talk about tunnel vision. Dude. <laughs> I think 183 was trying to uh, get himself killed there. There we go, this is what I was waiting for. Okay, tungsten shells activated. Oh my gosh, 183, how much in the- how much- how- how in the way can you become? <laughs> Goodness, 183, you are just a pure nuisance, nothing more. Pure 100% nuisance. Let's put a quick shell to this dude. We're gonna pull to an angle where he can't just YOLO me. And with the 183 here, we should be fine. 183, make sure to prioritize the right target, aka the 57 Heavy, who's much more dangerous, but uh... Let's put another shell to 57 here. There we go. We're using this rock as good cover. 57 should go down pretty quickly. I think we're going to win this game. I want to throw a little bit of a nuisance there. Kept getting in my way. I was a little bit annoyed by that, not going to lie. All right. Let's pick up the guaranteed kill. Oh, no, we're damaged farmer. So we're going to go for the 60 TP instead. <laughs> because that is the way of the damaged farmer. Oh, poor 183 got killed there. Ah, well. So, 160 TP remaining here. I don't really want to waste my max roll on this dude. Can anyone kill this dude? Like, hello? Anyone? Anywhere? Let me think about this scenario I'm in. Yeah, I guess I'll just pick up the kill. Perfect! Alright, that just leaves a 60 TP here. I'm a two shot. I do have no support here, so I have to be cautious about pushing this, because after all, as I have no support, that means... I'm in a disadvantage for this fight, so let's think about this. He's not going to be looking. Uh, it had to happen eventually. It had to happen eventually. Ah, I wish it was full HP, but still, a 2,000 hit point Amorak is satisfying. Very, very satisfying. Mmm. I hope he enjoyed. He took his attention off me for one second, and he will forever re live to regret that one second uh, he took his attention off of me. Tungsten shells, 790. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Yeet! To another dimension. 
That poor, poor, poor dude. Ah, we could get seven. Oh, nope, can't quite get 7k damage now. Still, that was fun. <laughs> I told you this take has Amorak, Amorak problems. And that wasn't even a max roll, like in terms of crew, in terms of ex crew, crew perks. That was just a standard roll. No tongues and shells activated at all. Sounds like your success went better than the anatomy exam I just took. Shake my head. Aw, Max. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully it goes better in the future for you. <laughs> well, that should increase my average slightly. Now eh, we're still at 4.4 almost. 20 games in. Not bad. Not bad. Ah, oh, I love ammo racking tanks. Satisfying. Yeah. Uh, Ghost... Ghost Factory is new, so it's at that point where players are just like, I don't know, let's just group up and YOLO somewhere with seven takes, you know? I don't like that style of meta, but it is what it has. Guys, almost 600 likes to pay respects to that 60TP who we possibly, who we pretty much violated with an Amorak. Smash that like button. Let's reach that 600 like mark. I believe in y'all. We got this. Let's go, boys. Fanis, do you think CTP will be popular in comp? 100%. I think at least one, maybe two CCTPs will be used pretty much every tournament match from from now on, for the most part. So, yeah, it's very much going to be a meta comp tank, in my opinion. Alright, guys. Let's do this. So, bubble, double bash champions have gone to the left-hand side. I'm sure they're going to have a lot of heavies over here, though. Let's see who we spot up. Nope, 60 TPs went mid. Perfect. All right, that's good to know. So if they're all in the mid, hmm, we might be able to get shots on this. We get shots on this Emil if he backs up just just enough here. It's not gonna back up enough though. He's gonna pull forward as he was just shot. Unfortunate. Okay, let's just push through. So their whole team's gonna be in the middle here. That's gonna be problematic actually. I hate pushing into encounter cap from angles like this. It's really sucky. Let's see, 57 heavy has too much momentum. We won't be able to capture him on the on the move here. 60 TP, however, is not paying attention to us, which is really important because we might be able to sneak a shell into him here before he can pull all the way through. Or 57 Heavy, one of the two. Do you match with the 57 Heavy with the Tungsten Shells? There you go, 900 damage, perfect. Um, So, we're going to take one from the 60 TP here. There's another 60 TP and the Bachatillon. Can't quite cross in the open just yet. Do you get another fire though? That's really, that's really good. I think my team's not going to win this. We're just a little bit too down on hit points here. And then we're too split up. As you can see, our 60 TP is getting yelled by bat shots. And yeah, there's double 60 TPs holding this corner here. It's just not good for us. However, this bat shot, is he rolling on the inside or outside? He's rolling on the outside. Okay. If the 60 TP gets distracted, even for the slightest of seconds, I'm just going to take a shot here. I need to help my team kill these bat shots as quickly as possible here. Come on. Unfortunate. If our Ice 4 can hold, we need to kill these, these Bat Chats, though. Once these Bat Chats die, and this WZ dies, we're chilling. Okay. First thing I gotta do is we're gonna go for the 60 TP or maybe the WZ. No. Wait. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice the Bat Chat there. <sighs> we're stuck in all kinds of crossfires here. These Bat Chats being free-flowing wherever they want are super problematic. Enemy team also has a double cap advantage over us, so you have to watch out for that. Oh, come on. Yo, you're full HP. Oh, you need to do something, dude. At this point, the game's kind of doomed, I think. Yeah, it, it's, it's just doomed, my guys. I don't think there's anything I can really do to recover this game. We're at too much of a cap deficit. I hate supremacy for this reason. Because we're not going to win. We just have too much time. Too much of a cap deficit for. Unless we can pick up that cap deficit right here, right now. But once we lose the size 4, we're going to be down to 900. I can cap stall. That will give me an opportunity, hopefully, to get one more shot of damage off before this game's up. That's my only hope right now. 690. Unfortunate. That is the unfortunate truth of being supremacy. I didn't play that well, I will admit. But I don't know what our yo was doing. He had full HP and he didn't move from spawn at all. He could have done so much. He could have pushed the batchets out. Just cleared somewhere, pushed through our spawn, anything. Um, and we would have probably had a better chance at winning that. Although, if I'm honest with you, I think our team was just such in a bad spot. Like, they yelled seven tanks during counter cap, and our team was all over the place. It's hard to come back from that. It is quite difficult. 
kind of scared of getting Amaract, also fan excuse one repair kit. Well, you see, the, the key is to not show your Amarak to people and to not get shot. If you don't get shot and you don't show your Amarak, you have nothing to be afraid of. Big brain. Thank you very much, guys, for the 600 like mark. You guys have absolutely nailed it. Excellent. Excellent work, my people. Excellent work. Okay, so. Let's try and have a redemption game. Last game was not very big brain. Sure, I did 3k damage, although I just felt like I could have played that game so much better. Mostly because I think I was in bad positioning for the entirety of that fight. And bad positioning really did impact the outcome of that battle. Uh, I should have just gone in counter cap. If I had gone in counter capped and brought a few of my teammates with me, we probably could have won that. What kind of an issue was, is I wasn't really sure where the enemy team was going to go. Also, camera. Strain out, boy. Strain out, you stupid camera. Oh, well. It's good enough, I guess. Although, I'm a little off-centered. Maybe if I pull the microphone arm in a little bit, I'll look a bit better. There we go. All right. Oof. Good big shot at the start of that game for him. Do I have support? I do have enough support where I should be fine here. Especially if the 60 TP pulls forward. IO7 is not really ambitious on moving anywhere. Well, ah, dispersion was just not good enough there for me. What happened to my allies? They got absolutely nuked. Okay. Uh, priority number one. Kill 57 heavy. Priority number two. IS-7 will die if he tries to push in from behind. So priority number one is to kill this 57 Heavy. I'm in a much better position than him. Oh, that's an E-100 coming to corner. I am by myself in the corner here. I have triple TDs cover firing me. That's my only hope of, of, of winning this battle scenario right here. These guys cannot possibly push onto me without putting themselves into a massive crossfire. So, well, the E-100 can push onto me just fine here. But tanks like this 57 Heavy... We'll have to really pull forward here. IS-7 definitely can't push onto me here. E-100 is just going to wreck me with heat, unfortunately. Okay. I am going to pray to the RNG gods. Oh, thank you. One of my teammates came in and saved me. Lovely. And we're going to go for the face hook on the E-100 here. This is the best option I have at the moment. Oh, he hit my hatch. Good shot. I still have some cover fire here. I'm not going to ram him. I don't want to lose any extra hit points here. As long as I can bait one shot out here, I'm doing just fine. So we're going we're gonna to make sure if we're playing against the C100, we can't, we can't bounce a single shot here. There we go. Mm, the IS-7 is now coming in to support him. Okay, we're going to go for the side. With the side hug, he's going to really struggle to hit me and pen. Oh, he's got to get the gun depression here. Okay. Okay. That could be way worse. That could be way, way worse. Um, no longer have adrenaline to help me out here, but the E100 is also making the angle really hard for this IS-7 to shoot me. Oh. You useless. I'm sorry. But team, what? What are my teams doing? I just don't think I can do. Ah! V Lushi Specifa Vikush. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Our 60 TP wanders off and over to like mid and dies. Our our two heavies didn't pull the C properly and just died in the open for free at the start. Like, there was nothing for me to do there. Absolutely nothing. I was one versus like three in the corner. And even though I did have TDs here, they just weren't enough. Dang. Unfortunate. I'm a little sad. I had zero help there. Well, I had some TD help from the Yag who hit the 57, thankfully, but like other than that, my team was yikers. Yeah, it's that it's that time of day, isn't it? <laughs> oh man. Look at these two. My only two other heavy tanks there to support me both did zero damage. Oh man. Not very, not a very pleasant gamer experience. <laughs> I tried my best though. I tried my best. Not gonna complain too much about it. Mm 
<laughs> Hello, I was late. Hey, I always say this, my friends. Better late than never. All right, let's see. Let's see. Hmm. What do I want to do? Let me think. I think I played that game on, on, um, on Canyon Fine. I don't think there was really much else I could have done there. Because if I had, if I had gone mid, that game would have ended even worse. Like, the only reason that game wasn't over so fast is I was able to hold off corner for so long. But that is kind of an issue with Canyon is when, like, your whole team just decides to sit in the corner and spawn and you kind of lose that map control. It becomes quite complicated. Okay, so let me think about our options here. Um, double 60 TPs, they'll probably appear in the mid. No one's spotting up C properly, so I have to be careful of tanks poking on the left side here. Um, thanks Patton for blocking my shots, I appreciate that. The 60 TP shouldn't have great shots on me. Sure, he hits my hatch. Sure, because that tank is really accurate like that, huh? Oh my gosh, their whole team is just allowed to poke here. Where is my support? Dude, we have so many tanks in the corner, and no one can keep that one-to-one -one off of me. Are you kidding? Like, this shouldn't even be a question. This one-to-one -one should not be there. Okay, we're gonna have a problem from behind soon. Hmm, we're gonna have a big-time problem here. Oh my gosh, what is my teammates doing? Okay, okay, okay. That's fine. Any way for me to pull out a mid? No. 60 TPs. Oh my gosh, there's a Yag now. What is he doing? Okay, we blocked the HE with our gun. Let's use this mag as a continued meat shield. This yak's gonna block the emil the uh the cron from shooting me. That's my goal here. Okay. Oh my gosh. Block 1200 HE again. Come on, come on, come on. Keep 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 protecting me from the emil. Perfect. I'm I'm gonna die to one of these 60 TPs eventually. There's no doubt about that. But as long as I'm alive, that's all that matters. How am I still alive? Holy! I should be dead! I should be so dead by now! I'm- I'm confused! How on earth am I still alive? What just happened?! This was an awful game, but I should have been dead like 10 times over this battle. Oh my goodness! So it has Gorilla Gun Syndrome, aka you shoot the gun thinking you can pen it and then- Oh! There goes another one, Zamorak. Excuse me, Unity, dude. Let me through! I want my damage. He's not even looking at you. Get, let me through. Oh! <laughs> Two 60 PPs get Avaract back to back. Oh my goodness. What was that game? Uh, could someone tell me? No! What did my screen go black? Okay, it didn't go black till it was too late. Okay, we're fine. I'll be, I'll be back. I just gotta replug everything in. Oh my goodness. Man. <laughs> What an interesting game. Oh man. Also, can we just appreciate 1100 Amarak and I think this dude got full health, like 2000 hit point Amarak as well. Two Amaraks back to back, 260 TPs got Amarak back to back. That is a perfect example of just the 60 TPs very, very weak Amorak, and I'm not kidding, guys. It is very, very weak. My goodness. Oh, oh, camera. Behave yourself. I guess this is good enough? Eh. Ah, I guess that works. Oh. Can I play with you? <laughs> Don't buy IS-60 TP. Dude, for real, the IS-7 Wargaming was like, IS-7 is getting way too much hate, man. You know what we should do? We should make it so that IS-7 has an I has an Amorak that's twice the strength that it used to be. And we should release a new tier 10 heavy tank called the 60TP that has an Amorak that's weaker than the IS-7. That's a good idea. And that's exactly what they did. The IS-7, I rarely, like yes, sometimes I see them get racked, but compared to before, it's like a 50 to 60% reduction in the amount of times I've seen IS-7s get racked. 60TPs? I mean, we've already seen- I mean, I've already Amrak two 60 TPs in the last, like, five games. I think that's all I need to say, really. These tanks are big no bueno in terms of Amrak durability. Take 650 to the face, brother. 
My goodness. And you know what's weird? It's not that their Amoraks get damaged. It's that they just get... They just get one-tapped. Like, they just get full health racked all the time, even if they have no previous Amorak damage. That's what's weird about the 60 TB's Amorak. It's not like a lot of tanks were, oh, you, you took one shot, you're now you're more likely to get racked. It's like, no, you just get racked because because that's how it is. Oof. Okay, so we're gonna we're in a pretty good scenario here. Haul down in the mid on can on uh, on this map. Oh, what the? What is this little fella doing over here? Hello. Don't mind if I do. We have a wild eye seven wandering into our spawn. Interesting. I don't think he's gonna survive very long in that situation though. Hmm. Do we have shots on him? Not quite. What is it, if what if you were to pull forward? If you were to pull forward, I might be able to get shots on him. He's not gonna pull forward. Okay, well that's interesting. Oh, hello. What's your plan, buddy? Oh! <laughs> oh! No, the I-7's shooting at me! He's a gamer! Okay, 60 TP's retaken corner. I'm gonna pull down from here before he gets to behind me and causes a ton of problems for me. So we're gonna pull back from that. This I-7 does need to die. Is anyone gonna shoot at him? No one's gonna shoot at him. Unfortunate. Okay, he's almost dead. No! I'm losing so many hit points here. Okay, someone kill this this dude for me. Please and thank you. Thank you. Okay, 54 is gonna make the boo-boo. Oh, no. Oh, no. Shoot the shoot the Sheridan. Ah, <sighs> thank you. Okay, is pulling forward. We have a 111 behind us. The 183 is over here in the mid. Let's go for the IS-7. He is in the mid after all. So, I'm gonna push on to his side here. He's in the middle of the crossfire, I mean. We're gonna pull forward here, and that's to get me out of a crossfire with the 183. IS-7 does bounce off me. 60 TP's out of the fight. 183 does not have shots on me. 183 has just fired. Now, as we have tungsten shells here, we should be able to get two shots into this 183 if we activate this at the right time. HE into the rear for 800. That's good for me. Now, we have a 20 reverse speed, so this Yo will be here to take the shot for me. Possibly. No, the 18 Oh, 183. We managed to bait him. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 183 just fired. 750 max roll. I'm going to pull away from this crossfire here. Lovely. Nice. That's a good game. That was a fun game. This was... The 60 TB is really quite good in a town engagement, I swear. It is... I mean, it is a heavy tank. It's what it's meant to do, but it performs exceptionally well in these kind of situations. All right. I wonder. Can we yoink the kill? We can. <laughs> Lovely. That was good. That was an interesting battle, but played quite well and another ace tanker, so I'm not going to complain. Let's see, what's our average in the tank? 4,345, 24 games. Not bad. I'll take it. I'm pretty happy with these results. 630 likes. Goodness, could we possibly reach a 700 like stream in three hours? Could we do that? I feel like, you know, it's a possibility. So if you haven't liked the stream, go ahead and smash the like button. Always shows, it's always great support. All right, let's see. What server you're on? North American server. Hello, Fatness. How are you? It's an update day. Update teams are next level interesting. That's all I can say. They're either awful, like some of the teams I've had, or they're just insanely good, also like some of the teams I've had. Okay, we are going to 722. I had issues with my auto aim tracking onto the wrong tank there, but we should be fine. Mm, TI2. 57 might pull to the corner if you were to do so. I have four seconds to pre-aim this and wait for him to pull through. If not, let's wait for the SU to pull forward here. 666. <laughs> okay. So, our 60 TP is about to take the attention of the entirety of the enemy's team. Um, he is pretty much hardcore toast. I'm a rack, maybe? Not quite. We do take 700 damage there. That's either from the Waffenträger or a 60 TP, I believe. As they have two 60 TPs, it's a 60 TP in the corner. Which tells me it's either an E50M... Or a Waffenträger that capped B. E50M's on the right, so I had to be the Waffenträger that was on B. Correct. Okay, so in that case, let's try and farm him out, huh? Where is he? No, 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 don't pull forward. Okay, I'm going to wait for him to pull back. He's not going to pull back. Okay, let's just push for him then. Just straight up push push for him. And maybe kill the E50M while we're at it. <laughs> what a waste of my max roll. 63 damage. Oh, well. We're, in a we're not in a bad scenario here. So we still got kind of a few dudes in our spawn. I got the 60 TP here. I can see him just pre-aiming for me. That's fine. He won't have good shots on me. 
We'll wait till my camel resets, and then we're going to pull across to a hold on position over here. Waffenträger is probably going to be pulling up mid right about now. 700 with HE. Nice. We are safe. He has stock as well, so I don't have to be too concerned about him. 60 TP. Do you manage the beta shell from him as well? That's fine by me. And I think my plan here is we're just going to try and get haul down across from these dudes. So, hello, T92. Uh, Auto aim kept tracking on the 60 TP. Like, come on, dude. The 60 TP is so far out of where I'm trying to aim. Yeah, you know, Auto aim just determined to track onto him. It's the only time that auto aim is really annoying. Okay, well, what a waste of my shells. It's fine. I just managed to pick up a kill there. 57 is also yelling here. Okay, we're in a fine position. That 60 TP could be over there. I'm a little worried about that, but we're not going to worry about it too much. And kick a kill shot on him. I'm going to make sure he can't HE me in the rear. That's fine. This dude should go down pretty quickly. The yo is going to put a clip into him, I'm sure. If I don't. Come on. And you're dead. Nice. TI2 is almost dead. So let's leave that 160 TP remaining. And as I thought, he is behind us. I'm sorry if I blocked you, SU. That wasn't intentional. Okay. Cool. So I picked up a lot of kills this game. Eh. A lot of low HP kill shots. Okay. If we can get one shell into the 60 TP, though, that's good for my average. So let's hope he keeps pulling back. Please don't pull forward into the Ag Tiger. Please just stay in cover. Don't give him free damage on you. There is no point in giving him free damage. Amrak? Aw. Oh, that's worth it, Tramps. Oh, TI2. So you're still alive, are you? He is still alive, boys. But not for long. I wonder if it's my turn to get Amrakt. Let's find out. Nope. HE under him. Easy. <laughs> Easy and steady does the trick. Not bad. Oh, 674 likes! Uh, we're so close to 700. We're so close to 700. Oh, we can do it. 4,356. Not bad. Is the 60 TP's front play an easy pen with premium ammunition? For the most part, yes. It depends on where you are. So if you're in a tank that's taller than a 60 TP, 100% uh, you can do that. In fact, if you're in a tank that's taller than a 60 TP, you can pen the upper plate with standard ammunition uh, in a lot of scenarios. So you do have to keep an eye out that. As a 60 TP player, you only have 120 millimeters of frontal hull armor. The key is in the angles of the upper plate. And that's why it bounces a lot. But if a tank's looking down on you, obviously the angle is vastly reduced, which means, yeah, you get Pepega through the upper plate quite often. So just be careful about that, especially against tanks like, I don't know, a Kronwagen, a Yo, an M6 Yo will have no problem penetrating you. You just got to watch out for vehicles like that. So let's see. What are we going to do here? Looks like my team wants to go left. Man, this tank looks so beautiful in PBR. Look at all these beautiful PBR tanks. We got the IS-7, got the three, three uh, 60 TPs, 907, Fosh and Grill are not quite so loved by Wargaming right now and do not have PBR textures. Oh, <gasps> 696, 69, 6. Uh, we're actually going to reach 700 likes. I can't believe it. What a miracle. Oh, boy. Dang it. I should have been pre-aiming. Bad play by me for not being pre-aimed there enough. Oh, no. That's a wall. <laughs> you guys don't see me? I do not exist. Thank you very much. Whoop, baited. Baited. Hello, 4005. 600 into you. All right, TVP, you need to die. Like, right now, you are going to die. Why? Because you have to. It is necessary for this game. Nice shot, dude. Okay. So, TVP is going to push up the mid. He won't have good shots on me. I don't have to worry about him. Yo, TVP, brother. You look kind of lost up here, bro. You're taking another 600 to the face. You might want to run away, Mr. Pablo. It's not a good idea to stay here. Good. Good. Yes, run for your life. Get away. Escape your certain death. All right. Well, nope. Not not, not fast enough, though. I'm still going to put another shell onto you. <laughs> E3 is going to be problematic. Definitely. Good news is I do have a 60 TP here for support. Um, it's going to be difficult to kill an E3, though. I will admit Mmm, I was trying to aim for that drive wheel. Wasn't able to hit that. Unfortunate. My old team is, including our IS-7, is being a little bit too passive on the rear there. Okay. The E3 pulls up like that again. We're nuking him. It's the only plan of action we got here. Put a heat shell into this dude. E3 can try and shoot at me. It's not going to go well for him. 
Double 60 TP is pushing down mid. This E3 really does need to die. The only issue is he's in a really difficult to kill position. And yeah, that's not going to happen. Okay. If R60 TP can hold here long enough, I have a plan of action. We got to kill their 60 TP. And the best move for me to do right now is to push below to pressure him into a crossfire. Perhaps the E3 will also get baited into this crossfire. Perfect. E3 does indeed get baited in. That's fine. As long as I'm pulling him out of the fight. Now we do have an E5 behind us, which is problematic. No, I hit his mantlet. Now he's going to pen my hall. I need some kind of support right now by my remaining allies. 60 TP, maybe you can provide some support here. Anything would be valuable at this point in time. There we go. Someone tracked him. That's important. That's perfect. So, Sean threw his lower plate here. E5 is going to kill me. Oh, E5 missed? Come on. Someone provide that support. I don't know. What on earth are you doing, dude? I, I, I went down there so they wouldn't kill you. And he just sat back and almost let me die. Nice one, Gorilla. Good work, Gorilla. Good work. Our Gorilla, you're a lifesaver. Thank you so much. You've earned an upvote. <laughs> oh, 700 likes. Let's go, guys. Thank you so much. 3,700 likes. You guys are awesome. All right. Now, enough molding at my teammates. Forward march. We must continue the farm. Oh, nope. They're all dead. Yeah, they're, they're big time all dead. Let's go. <gasps> you're gonna go for the i7. 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 But surprise, there's a 60 TP there. Lovely. Watching your fabulous stream from the UK. As always, I learned so much from you. Old Mikey, thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream all the way from the United Kingdom. And it must be pretty late where you are, I must admit. Oh, we got an ace? Yeah, this tank is too easy to ace. Gorilla, where were you, Gorilla? Thank you. You saved me. You good human being, you. <laughs> So let's see, 60 TP, 26 games, 4,300 average, 14 ace tankers. This tank is so easy to ace right now. 800 perhaps? I mean, we're at 720 likes. Heck, if we reach 800, you guys are on some next level stuff, dude. <laughs> 60 TP any good. High fatness, by the way. 60 TP is excellent. I really like it. It's a really good tank. It's, yeah, I mean, it's the best way to describe it is like an E100 and an I7 kind of had a baby and this is the result. So that means the tank is good. And I like it. <laughs> that is my simple and eloquent way of describing things. Hey, I'm from Russia watching you. Privyet. Oh, Privyet is America. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying the stream. Now it must be really late from you if you're all the way from Russia. I figured you'd be there, boy. Come on, make the poke. Make the poke, I dare you. Hmm, I need to consider my options here. We have tanks on the ship. That's the good news. We managed to nuke the Vickers, because big brain pre-aim was too much for him to handle. Um, <laughs> we have control of A, they have an E5 yellowing through towards our spawn, along with a 60 TP. Obviously the enemy team have full scent towards the left-hand side here, which means we gotta either pre-aim and nuke these dudes, or probably the best option for me at this point is to kill their 60 TP that's in the mid. Yeah, that's what we gotta do. So this dude is pretty semi-isolated, right? He doesn't have a ton of support. The Vickers yellowed in as well. We gotta make sure he dies before their team has time to turn all the way back and kill us. So that's gonna be my priority right now. Making sure, gosh, I lost control of my joystick there for a moment. That really cost me an extra shot of, of damage. This is not very cool. All right, buddy. Got a shell into this dude. Got to make sure the yo can't shoot me from behind. Oh, there's the yo. I'm in the 57. Okay. 57 bounced one shell for me. Nice. It bounced two shots. And maybe. Nope, not quite. Yo just clipped out. Let's put a quick shell into... Bruh. 60 TP took a shell there. Okay. So, yo and 57 are both on the inside, outside here. I can hold this corner, I can nuke these dudes out. And I know the Yo has like a 20 something second reload, 26 second reload. So we should be able to easily put him in a crossfire here. With one of my 60 TPs for support, this should be easy. Now, as the Yo is much taller than me here, 
That is going to be an issue. Um, he can just dunk down on my Lord Plate and nuke me here. However, our 60 TP came in clutch. Very nice. And let's continue to the counter push. We're doing good, guys. Oh, it's Korra from, from the Speed Clan. I see. The infamous Korra. Hmm. Oh, Pepega shooting by me. Oh, oh, he's he's almost dead. What happened to his hit points? I wanted to farm him. Korra, why do you know? Oh, oh no. This ain't good, boys. My farm is evaporating. My farm is evaporating. E5, give me Z damages on you. No, oh, come! Bruh, I even took the time to aim that in a little bit. That's so annoying. I got no farm late game. Enemy team was just too good at dying. Okay, engine deck, fire maybe. Yes! Yes! We got the fire! Yes! <laughs> At least we got like 3.5k in the end. Oh, what an interesting game! <laughs> oh no, I could have killed him. I wasn't looking. Oopsie! Wow, interesting. Interesting. Could have been worse. I only got like 3.2k damage though in the end. This feels bad, man. 3.2. GG to our 60 TP. GG Cora. How's your 60 TP going? Not bad. Not bad. All right. Onwards. Finally saw you live. <laughs> LOL. Thoughts on the new Polish tanks? They're very good. Starting from tier 8. The tier 7 is very average. If you're here from the start of the stream, you know this. It's not spectacular. It's not awful, but it's definitely nothing special. Ah. Uh... Their team has four 60 TPs. Four of them. And my team has four 60 TPs. It's battle of the 60 TPs. Why is everyone getting them? You know, everyone's probably getting home from work or school right about now from in the, in the US. And they're, <laughs> they're all updating their games and they're all unlocking their 60 TPs. And now we're just getting a huge spike in 60 TP activity. <laughs> Can, <laughs> can you know how you call fires is actually scary <laughs> thanks for the donation I get I guess it could be a little scary huh Emrak? not quite but at least we pen yeah I guess it is but you just have to know where the fuel tanks or the engine is and once you figure that out usually it's not too bad talk about haul down 60 TPs galore Oh, that is so satisfying. Those 700 plus rolls, man. Hmm. Oh, nice shot, 60 TP. I wonder if he's using the supercharged... Uh, not the supercharged, but you know what I mean. Ah, dispersion. I'm definitely not playing tier 9, 10 right now. I can't blame you, dude. If you're in anything but a 60 TP or something that dunks on hold down heavies, this is not a very fun meta to be dealing with right now. This poor team. They have no TDs. They've all clustered up in two portions, here or here. It means they're in really bad positions to deal with me. Oh, wait, where? Where? Oh, you can see the hit marker. It's like half on the upper plate, half on the lower plate. It split my shell in two. That is so uncool. Watch me get amracked here. Not quite. It's close. Man, my team is just dominating them. Oof. Ooh-wee. Oh, dear. They don't have very many players left, now do they? This is not very big brain for their team. Oh, no. Cora, Cora. Your teams are Pepega. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Too many 60 TPs running around, I think, maybe. No, 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 no. Get off my side, dude. You are ruining my acceleration. Okay. Three seconds. One... Two, three. Maybe an Amrak. Oh, wait, I didn't activate my tungsten shells. No. Oh, man. I feel bad because, like, only two of their 60 TPs pushed up, whereas the rest of them just sat back and died. Oh, dear. Is the tier six any good? I have not uh, tried the tier six, to be honest. I don't, I'm not a fan of tier six. Oh, dear. <laughs> Poor core. <laughs> oh, man, these teams. Oh, there's nothing special, aren't they? Oh, it's been three hours almost. Okay. Um, um, real quick. 
I play another game at 60 TP. Would you guys like me to play end the stream with a couple games in the 50 TP prototype, which as you know, inadvertently received a buff with the provisions and consumables. I already played one game and it was an epic six and a half thousand damage game in the 50 TP prototype. But if you'd like me to play a couple more, just so you can see how the tank feels, let me know in the chat. Otherwise I'll play like one or two more games in the 60 TP itself instead of the 50 TP prototype. And uh, and then we'll call it a quits from there because I got more, more college work to take care of after this. <laughs> But this has been fun. This has been fun. I I think this is a very, very good tech tree and definitely worth getting. 57 heavy. Ah, okay. 50 TP though. Hmm. Are they not here? They're in B. Okay. They're going to come in from behind us, I think. We're going to need someone to spot up behind us. That person's going to be me. Might not go well, but we'll see. Why are my graphics at the max? I should not have this much fog. I hate fog. Fog makes things so hard to see. Oh, RNG said we're not going to hit his side, but we're going to hit his turret and pen that instead. Lol. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, cool. We'll do some 50 TP action after this. I mean, the 50 TP is still such a good tank. <gasps> what a joke. What do you mean? Okay, they're all stuck on a crossfire. I have a good crossfire on them here, which is the good thing. Keeping them stuck like this really is going to put the pressure on their team. Okay, how can I not spot anyone, but I am getting spotted here. <laughs> Yay, this gun at distance is not great. This is why usually I just play the 60 TP aggressive because at distance it's not the best. Zdarova, Muzik. Zdarova, Zdarova. Hmm. Amorak, maybe? Not quite. Got him in a good crossfire, though. Ah, yes. Okay, oh, no. Double cap deficit. That's bad, actually. Really bad. I thought the game wasn't too bad. I completely forgot about this massive cap deficit we're at. No. We're gonna lose this to cap deficit, if nothing else. Not that my team's doing too well anyways. But that cap deficit is gonna be painful. Yeah, we ain't recovering from that, brother. Oh, hello. Maybe I can amrack you. Not quite. E50, I'm on a crossfire. 60 TP yellowing in with tungsten shells. Oh, no. Don't amrack me, dude. Team, no, no, I lost track of supremacy cap points. Why do I, oh, I hate supremacy sometimes, man. Most of the time, like maybe one in 20 games, supremacy is helpful, but most of the time supremacy screws me over. All right, how many games do I have with the 60 TP now? 29, okay, you know what? Let's play to 30 games in the 60 TP, and then we'll play a couple games 50 TP. I think that sounds good. Capture card is glitching, I guess. Yeah, a little bit, just a little bit, MS1. <laughs> Last game is 60 TP, just because I want to play up to 30 games in it. And that's a lot of 60 TP battles for one for one session. Oh no. Even more 60 TPs. Five of them. What happened to tier 10? No. This is a positive nightmare. Oh, this is so bad. Five 60 TPs on the opponent's team. At least we have Sierra from Pramo, who is, uh, I, th I think is a good player, so... Hmm. This is scary. I'm scared. There are so many 60 TPs here, I don't know what to do. Okay, we're gonna lose the corner. We have the better spawn for holding mid, though. One, two, one, you should have gone corner. I don't know what you're doing, dude. You really threw any positioning advantage we could have had this game. One to one, what are you doing? You're gonna let the 422 free farm us from the side, dude? That's so bad. Seven hundred, nice. Dude, this 422 is gonna free farm so hard from there. I don't know what our one to one's doing, dude. You're you're a med. Don't try fighting five heavy tanks frontally, dude. It's not gonna go well. Oh wait, maybe we can amrack this dude, maybe? Not quite. 
Oh my gosh, there goes a thousand hit points or twelve hundred hit points. One two one. Can you just, dude? This one two one is like hogging the position and not doing anything to prevent that four two two from farming out my teammates here. That's really an issue. But hey, if you can keep that sixty TP down, I'm perfectly happy. Do your job. You keep them down. I'll keep farming mid, and we're, we have a deal. We can. I can work with that. <laughs> What? What? How does this dude keep getting gun depression to shoot down at me? No. Bruh. It's hitting the side of my turret. That's the issue. I need to wait till this dude shoots. He's the only one that gets clean shots on me. So once he fires, I'm fine to push in. What? Oh my gosh, dude. There we go. 422 finally going down. We have a grill flanking us, man. This is so bad. Maybe we can get a quick shell into this grill here. Not quite. Oh, this this is such a bad scenario to be stuck in, man. If this grill tries to move up, though, I should be able to put a nice shell into him here. Very easily and cleanly. Oh, he shot HE- Dude, 370 HE splash? Nice. 1-2-1. You one. still have full HP, dude. Oh, man. Dude, could you imagine? This 1-2-1 had gone corner. Look at the crossfire he would have. He would have crossfire in that dude that was poking me in mid, crossfire in this dude. All because he gave up corner, he made this game so much harder. I think we're gonna lose this game. Possibly. Well, we'll see how our team performs. Okay, 50 TP action. Let's jump into some 50 TP games. I think that's enough of tier 10, especially with so many 60 TPs running around. It's actually a yikes. <laughs> and let's go have some fun with the tier 9. Yeah, who wants to push in the five, five of these tanks? It's just so not cool, dude. <laughs> and I'm running same control mode off, and like, and I was running both game modes, but there's just so many 60 TPs in the tier 10 matchmaker right now. Like, no one wants to play anything else, and I can't blame them. It's a good tank. Is it easier to farm with same control mode off? Uh, I don't think so. Personally, uh, I prefer same control mode on. The only reason I have it off on streams is so you guys aren't sitting in queue for like two minutes while tier 10 matchmaker can't figure out what to do, which is often the case on the NA server. Like you'll spend one to two minutes in queue between games, even if you're solo in tier 10. So that's why I usually run it off during streams, but most of the time I run it on. Oh, what do we got here? Mm, don't quite have a shell on him. There's an ST1. Okay. They're going to push through the mid maybe. Hmm. They're gonna back up eventually, right? But he does that. Hmm, try to pre-aim that. I'm not really sure what their team is doing, but I'm not gonna complain too much. All right, 50 TP. What has changed about the tank? Well, obviously it's much, much faster now, but the big difference is really in um, the fact that you can now use tungsten shells. So for instance, this ST1 here, we have 440 alpha damage, I believe, and now we can hit him for like 520 pretty reliably, which is beautiful, beautiful having that kind of alpha damage. So SD1's pulling for it again. I hit the 60 TP's gun, unfortunately. That was unintentional, but it is what it is. There's an E75 below us, so let's put a shell towards his side while we're at it. There we go. I can't really cover this Yag Tiger because, yeah, once he goes down, I'm the next target. So I just got to take things easy for now. We do have a 50 TP flanking these dudes. It's the good news. Uh, I don't want to get tracked in the open. We're going to pull back from that. I still have some cover fire. Enough. I have enough cover fire. That's all that matters. 60 TP should go down here pretty easily. Maybe we'll rack them. Who knows? Not able to reflect that shot. 57 heavy. Please save me. Good. One more shot. You got this, buddy. Come on. If he doesn't kill this, this 57, I'll kill him. I mean, the 60 TP. Oh, is he going to cap out? No way he caps out. Oh, no. My stream's current bit rate's low. What do you mean? It looks fine. It looks smooth to me. Let me know if it's lagging. Oh, 57. You got this. No, he capped. He drove off the cap at 100. What? What are you doing? Why would you drive off the cap at 100? My guy. <laughs> I don't mind. That's more damage for me, but... 
Lol, I thought he totally had the cap there. Unfortunate. Oh man, interesting. Oh, some fan is here, Yoda. Hey everyone, how's it going, guys? How's it going? Sensua. Come on, buddy. Give me that Kamikaze medal. Oh, you're so uncool. You're not gonna get extra damage anyways. You may as well let me crush you. <laughs> uncool, brother. Yeah, so lagged earlier. Okay, I'm sorry about that. But it looks like the connection's back to normal. So that's good news. 3,200, not bad. Oh, we lost. No, I still did 3.3. I did okay, I guess. I mean, I could have played it better for sure. Really, the issue was this 1-2-1 one, one giving up corner just gave my team no flexibility. We all got stuck there. And, like, it was just him versus a 4-2-2. Two, two. He shouldn't have been afraid to take corner in a 1-2-1-B. One, one, he had every advantage in that fight. So, just remember, positioning map control is really important on maps, especially if it's a map like Port Bay. Our heavies did a good job pushing up mid, but the only issue is like, yeah, we just didn't have that cover fire from the side of the of the medium side. Why double food on 50 TP? Do I run double food? I didn't even know. Well, I I only put on the fuel and the tongues and shells, so I probably didn't notice. Fast Lebobby, I will try and find her before the stream's over. We will find the Lebobby. It's already three o'clock, man. Okay. <laughs> Not the longest stream to be fair, but uh, let's see. Probably gonna take one in return. However, I did have the alpha damage with the tongues and shells there. So not really a bad trade for me. I also outdo this dude on reload. That's a, let's see, a 50 TB through the front. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of tanks on me. I didn't expect him to be there. That was my mistake. All right. Uh, standard B, about to get nuked. Yeah, this tank is still really good. I think I I still s I don't know the fifty the fifty TP tech tree tank is a really good tank in its in of itself, but there's just something very satisfying about the gun handling and mobility that the fifty TP prototype has. I think that itself can't really be beaten. Let's put a quick blind shot into this dude. Well, oh, we definitely max rolled for five fifty. I think we have just hit points exactly, but um, we also take a nasty shot in return. All right. Good. The Waffenträger comes for me. I don't think he is. He just fired on the move anyway, so he's not interested in me right now. He's dead. Driver's dead as well, but could be worse. No, I didn't see the Ag Panther there. That was my bad. That was a, that was a bad shot by me, really. Hello, 25 to you. Ooh, 506. Once my driver's sealed, this will be better. I don't know. They're both really solid tanks. It's hard to pick one over the other. But I do think the gun, even though it has less alpha, is just a little bit better on the 50 TP prototype. On the platform it has, at least. 500. Plus, with the tongues and shells there. So satisfying. All right. Not bad. I don't know. It's a hard comparison to make. I do think I do think this tank's a little bit better. Just a little bit. Is, 50, is 60 TP meta comp worthy? Definitely. It's definitely comp worthy, without a doubt. I'm, I'm sure we will see plenty of 60 TPs this Blitz Cup in about a month or so. What's the difference between Tech Tree and the regular 60 TP? Um, the main difference is the Tech Tree one has slightly better turret armor, slightly less mobility, I think a little bit less gun depression, but it gets 460 alpha damage, about the same DPM, and slightly worse gun handling. So it gets, in my opinion, it gets better armor and exchanges that for higher alpha damage, whereas the 50 TP gets... A worse haul, I would say, a worse turret, a more accurate gun with less alpha damage, and definitely much better mobility. And that's like the main difference. So the fifth, the the tier, the premium tank kind of favors mobility and gun handling, whereas the um, the tech tree one favors a little bit more armor and alpha damage. 
As you can see, there's really nowhere I can pen this dude unless I hit his hatch perfectly, so yeah. That tier 9's turret armor is really nuts. Ooh. Okay, he's pulling back, so he must have just fired. No explanation. Just put a quick shell onto him. Should have used my tungsten shells there, but I didn't want to overpoke for too long. Because that would be bad. Um, well, ain't that an interesting little surprise. 645 though like hitting that kind of alpha damage is insane and that's thanks almost purely to the performance of the tongues and shells there that really just allowed me to hit him for such a high he roll because its average is super high like that that was satisfying let's see 60 tp pushing into our spawn my teammates are not too ambitious of pushing onto their 60 tp can't say i blame them it's not a good play to poke on a 60 tp that's haul down as I am about to do. Hmm. No, he's about to go down. All right. There's a fourth on five. Let's put a quick shot into him. Nice high roll by him, but he's almost dead. And we're going to have to go back. So I think pushing this here is... Oh, man. I didn't realize this dude had shots on me. Pep got playing by me. It's fine. I don't mind taking that one shot. Right now, I value positioning. So we're going to have a badger by himself on the flank here. Versus... Uh, 60 TP, that's full hit points. That's going to be problematic. So my goal, because I think pushing this is pretty much a suicide mission for the team. I think it'd be much better for the team if we can just hold into the mid here and surprise the enemy team. Now, I think the 60 TP is going to pull forward. Let's pre-aim for this. Nice 400 into his side there. Looks like he's going to continue pulling forward. That's fine by me. And there's nowhere for him to really go right now. Unless he wants to back up. I don't think he's going to back up either. WZ doesn't quite have shots on me. Okay. So 60 TP pushed into a crossfire. I should pressure him out here. That's probably the play. Because he's going to fire my teammates from behind. And that was not uh, that's not at all desirable. So let's... Oh my gosh, I can't drive on this account. It's because my drive feels slightly at, out of position. Let's put a shot into the back of this dude. 522 with the tungsten shells. He's now a one-shot. There's just too many hit points left. Unless this Badger and I can absolutely big brain on the enemy team, there's just really nothing we can do at this point. This Badger's going to get himself lost in the middle of the map as well. Oh, he hits that. Good shot by him. I was trying to bait him into poking me there. Yeah, I don't think... Ah, uh, man, our team got stuck there. And that's the issue with the 60 TP. It's just so strong at holding a corner like that. You know what I mean? There was nothing we could really do there. <laughs> yeah. See, the issue was, is our team pushed into the mid through C, and they just had a bunch of haul down 60 TP tanks. You can't push. You, you legit can't push there. So my team just got stuck there, and, like, our 60 TP died for free. Yeah, that's unfortunate. And that's that's the, that's the thing about the, the meta with 60 TPs. If they have a bunch of 60 TPs holding a corner or something like that, um, that are hauled down, and you have to really push on them, you got to be really careful about that because that's just going to put you in a bad situation. Vanis, do you play any kind of instruments? Yes, I do. A instrument of a kind, but it's nothing, nothing well-known or special, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Sentinel? No, I do not. <laughs> um, and you would be running the CCTP and comp. Probably. Almost 800 likes. I know you guys are absolutely sending it with the likes this time. Crazy. Crazy good. I just want to have a nice game in the CCTP prototype. Come on, man. What's the best tank in battle? Oh. <laughs> Blue Mac, you know what's up. <laughs> uh, I must have mentioned that during a stream once. I don't remember. <laughs> Let's think about this. They have a single 60 TP, a 50 TP, 50 TP prototype. Man, this game has been invaded by, by a Polish heavy tank. Let's be honest. Oh, hey, Darth. <laughs> I feel like I've seen you in my streams before. My stream chats. I'm pretty sure you have been in my stream chats before. All right. Oh, of course he hits my hatch, dude. The odds of that hitting. 
next level god tier gameplay. There's the Yag. There's the 60 TP. Not quite looking at me, but I don't quite have shots on him. Let's think about this. Their 57 isn't quite paying attention to me, so might mount, not mount. Oh no! Boom. 490 to him. And if he pokes me again, yeah, he's gonna get farmed out. That's fine. Uh, I don't like this situation at all. There you go, he's dead. Perfect. Perfect. Mmm, shouldn't have gone for that. That was a poor shot by me. 60 TP is still gonna be a problem down there. Hopefully the mouse... If I push into this ditch right now, I'll have no cover fire from the mouse. Because my whole team's going up top. So the enemy's natural reaction at this point would be to push down into the ditch and kill me if I went there right now. So I gotta wait on the ditch for now. Let's put a shot onto this Yag. Let's just wait for... Let's wait for them to pull back far enough where I know I'm not gonna get yoloed into the ditch. Okay, I think now that the 60 TB's bled so much, I have a better chance of holding ditch. I just don't want to push it at the start because their natural instinct when we have so many tanks up top is going to be to just push on me. And that's not very desired, obviously. So, 60 TP. Turns all the way to me instead of paying attention to what's in front of them. And he's now on 200 hit points. My guy. And what, what's, what's your plan? Yep, yep. You have done so well. 60 TP should have just stayed haul down and focused on what was in front of him. Instead, he just took shots from my entire team just to look at me and put one shot onto me. Yikers. Bit of a... Bit of an uncool play by him for his hit points pool, I think. Hmm. Let's put a quick shot onto this Yag. Oh, that should have not penned, but I'm not going to complain that it did. Alright. Five twenty hundred, five hundred. Yeah, I think this game tank gets about five hundred alpha damage when you're using tongues and shells. Interesting. Uh, I'm not farming though. This game, uh, tier ten is actually not very interesting right now. There's too many sixty TPs. It's just like sixty TPs, fifty TPs. It's just so much haul down heavy tank gameplay right now. It's it's some of these games are just really difficult to get like good damage in. I did okay, but. Yikers. <laughs> Guys, join the Blitz Discord server. You can get all of the info you want and need from them. True, true, true. Did burning games get delayed by one day? I don't know. Almost 800 likes, guys. Almost. Maybe we'll reach 800 before the end of this stream. I don't know. I am getting a little bit tired. Been uh, doing a lot of commentary, you know? But um, we'll see. Perfect. Ah, they have a whole re and IS. This is so bad. This is gonna suck. Like I like the 50 TP, but I'm telling you, these kind of haul down fights are just not good for this tank. I mean, it's meant to go haul down, but it doesn't have enough armor to deal with like an IS four or a 60 TP, not comfortably. Because its main advantage over something like the tier 9 is its is its mobility. And on a map like Dead Rail, I won't be able to really utilize that mobility to its fullest. So I'm a little worried about this fight, naturally. Okay. So most of their team went left. Put a quick shot to him. That's a 60 TP. I didn't know he had a shot there. Oh my gosh, he had a small shot. Big brain. Let's see. Ice right, 4 fired. My assumption is this game's over. They're all yellowing into a crossfire. They're gonna die really fast. I'm not gonna get much farm off here. Unless... I gotta kill this dude first. Unless I can help my team pressure this side. My assumption is the Hobri's not here because he would have been farming this dude a long time. Oh, nope. Hobri just tricked me, that's all. How did the Hobri not farm these guys out then? If he was there the whole time. I'm actually confused. <laughs> Look at all the tanks we have in this corner. This is so bad. Like, it's not bad, but it's just like... Uh, they're just dying so fast because we have so many tanks here. Oh, man. 50 TP's gun is snappy, though. Mighty snappy. Okay. The prototype. I should, I should state the prototype. I forget there's now two 50 TP's in the game.
<gasps> Just a little too high. Okay, let me think about this. So Pan's over there. Ice Force really is kind of stuck in the mid here. 60 TP's pulled to safety. Let's put it in for the lower plate again. Oh, come on. It's it's actually like an issue. You compliment a tank's gun, it's never going to work for you the same after that. <laughs> it's going to be like, nope, I don't think I'm going to work now. Hmm, bad trade. Can no one clear the Hori? Okay, so I'm going to pull down from here before I get killed by the Patton. That whole Reese is farming for free. No one's doing anything about it. Yikers. Nice. That's good. That's good. Perfect. Okay. Sweaty gameplay. Sweaty, sweaty gameplay. Hmm. 50 TP. Feels good. Feels, feels about right. Definitely more mobile. I think the tungsten shells are helpful, but the issue is I haven't had a real opportunity to use them all that much. I swear, sometimes RNG is just like, no, you're not going to hit a single shot, dude. <laughs> okay, this one better hit. Thank you. Thank you, RNG. About time. <laughs> My goodness. I was wondering when it was going to hit his lower plate. It took like four attempts. Okay, let's wait for him to give me a little bit of side. Uh, APCR should do. How? That's like 320 millibars APCR. Oh well. Oh, almost 800 likes. We're almost there, boys. Heavy lunch with fatness. What's up? What's up, Mark Fleming? Ah, Flanagan. Why do I call you Fleming? I don't know why. It's Flanagan. <laughs> How's it going? Welcome to today's stream. Oh boy. All right. One more game. One more. And then we gotta get ready to call quits. Ugh. Cause I have been streaming for almost three and a half hours. I got a game where there's 12 60 TPs. I got this one Leo one. Dude, I feel bad for you. There are so many 60 TPs in tier 10 right now. I kept getting like matches where there was five on each team. It's crazy. All right, so. Let's make it an epic one, boys. Double 60 TPs, a yo, a 50 TP. Do I really want to take that fight? Guess we're going for it, boys. This tank looks nice, I have to admit. The tier 9 tech tree 50 TP, whatever it is called, is uh, not very pretty. It's a good tank, but it doesn't. it's not a looker. That's for sure. Wow, we're going over 50 kilometers an hour. Ah, uh, seriously. And let's see. I should get here way before the 60 TPs do. That's good. Hmm, that's gonna be an annoying position to get him out from. This dude's gonna be annoying too. Okay, they all just fired. Now would be a good time to activate my shells, put a shell into his lower plate. Sorry if I blocked you. That was my bad. I was I didn't realize I need to pull so far up to get the shot off. So, um, if I blocked you, it was unintentional, and I sincerely apologize. Hello? Oh, come on! Gun handling? No! Okay, I should have this dude mega on reload here. Oh, yeah, we're doing okay in the mid here. See, as I have these two dudes to distract the enemy team, I feel more comfortable holding the mid in this scenario. If I didn't have these two, these two 60 TPs with me, I'd be really scared. Good work. Nice. Come on. It's only a matter of time, boys. We gotta start pushing up soon. Okay, the yo's gonna pull forward any moment now. Give us some free shots here on his lower play, maybe. Nice. Alright, 60 TP took most of the enemy team's attention. We should be able to win this pretty quickly now. Here's where I need to utilize my, my rather decent DPM here. Hello, where do you think you're going, boy? Take 550 to the face. Ow! Okay. I didn't mean you could you could shoot me back. That's uncool. <laughs> but you know what's also uncool is how quickly you're gonna die. Oh, I'll almost die. I mean, oh hello, still trying to shoot at me, buddy? Seriously, would not recommend it. I, RNG. 
Why you do me like this? Okay, so... Yo, is still alive. Three Oh no, I forgot to activate my tungsten shells. Oopsie. Okay, I was gonna say, is he gonna eventually die? Nice, 500. It's amazing how much big of a difference the alpha damage is when you actually use your shells. Oh no, he's gonna yellow and die into our spawn. Goodbye. Farewell, E50M. Farewell. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> and these Polish heavy tanks, they're so fast. Oh, 800 likes. You guys done did it. I'm proud of you. Thank you for making this an 800 like stream. That is a lot of likes, I will admit. A lot, a lot, a lot of likes. So thank you. Did everyone miss this dude, or is it just me? Not a bad game. Alright guys, that concludes the Polish heavy tank update stream. Good tanks, especially the 60 TP, which we ended on about 4.2k for 30 games today. Um, that's a solid session in it. <laughs> and... So, if you're watching from the start, thank you so much. Also, thank you to everyone who was watching today's stream, um, and who donated to today's stream, and who liked today's stream. Thanks to the mods. I always appreciate you guys, especially as a bit of a last-minute stream, as I usually, don't usually stream on Wednesdays, but, you know, it's an update day. And, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed, have an idea about how the 60TP tech tree works, and how the tanks perform, and what you can expect out of them. Hopefully, you got some useful tips as well out of the gameplay. Thanks for the 800 likes, and I think, unless I can get Bobby out from under the bed, that's going to conclude today, but I'll try and find her. But of course, we were able to get Bobby. So, ow, ow, fingers out. There we go. We can't end the stream without a little bit of Bobby action. So, oh, hey girl, girl, girl. What are you, why are you getting your claws snagged into me? There you go. Just relax and sit back. Oh. She's like, stop it, human. Well, here's, here's your daily dose of Bobby. She's a little unhappy. She was kind of sleepy. <laughs> Hi. Say hi to the stream, or say goodbye to the stream. So it's just about the end. Isn't that right? Yeah? Yeah? You ready? She's like, stop holding me, human. Okay, okay. I'll stop holding you. Here, play with your favorite, with your favorite straw stick or whatever. There you go. Go have fun. Yeah? Yeah? Okay. There we go. Hashtag Bobby Gang. We got our daily just to Bobby. There's nothing to be mad about. So... <laughs> I'm just gonna leave her be. Anyways, yeah. So, that's gonna conclude today. Uh, I may or may not stream this Friday. It depends on how busy I am with, with school. And if I do have time, I will go for it. And so, with that in mind, please, uh, once the stream's replay is posted, feel free to leave some suggestions as to what kind of streams you'd like to see, potentially at this Friday or weekend or next Friday, depending on how busy I am. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Cute. Um, and that's gonna be it for today. So, thank you, everyone. Hope you guys have a great night, great day, depending on where you are. And uh, I might see you guys this Friday. So take care. <laughs>